all righty good morning or good afternoon ladies and gentlemen welcome to the go for modern combat 5 red cup number 20 i am the host haxer i'll be bringing you the commentary the gameplay all that kind of stuff for today but first off let me get into some of the stuff for the tournament some of the rules of the tournament and uh, some information on the tournament because there is uh, some stuff i do need to tell you guys so this is actually i believe the last weekly cup before we actually head to the monthly finals the last weekly cup guys and if you guys haven't known if you guys don't know the news they increased the prize pool they increased the prize pool for the finals for this month and guys today's this week's prize pool is pretty crazy prize pool of 3,000 euros. 3,000 euros for the finals, guys. Like, imagine the amount of money you could do with 3,000 euros. Let's quickly switch over here, show you guys what's up. There you have it. That is the news if you haven't seen already. Look at that. First place team gets 1,500 euros. Second gets 1,000. A third will be getting 500 for the monthly finals for this month. If you guys are just joining right now and you're like, what is Go For Modern Combat 5? Like, what, what is this tournament? How, how would I sign up? What, what is this? Pretty much the Go For Modern Combat 5 Cup Series is a weekly cup series uh, every single week. People just, it's a 5v5 matchup, teams just play it out, try to win, and yes, uh, there's monthly finals, monthly finals have larger cash prizes than the weekly ones, weekly ones have cash prizes as well, it's usually a prize pool of about 150, and it's split up a, a bit more uh, conservatively, but like, monthly finals are usually the, the money makers, but this monthly final will be huge compared to the last one. Now we will get into some gameplay very, very shortly. We are just waiting on the admin to set up the match. Once we are set up, we will begin Matrix versus D Nation. Quickly take a look at the brackets, see what's who's playing who, when they're playing, all that good information right now. So if you take a look at the brackets right here, you can see a lot of stuff right off the bat. First action, it's going to be moving up to RO16 right away because there's no one to face them at the moment. Expert Shots versus Sky Gaming, In Gaming versus FBI Clan, VIP United versus D Nation, Forever Matrix versus DT D Nation, Crazy Boys versus Dark Fantasy, Marines versus Blue Fire, Painkiller will be moving up along with Easy Clan, Apolloist. Titanium, Black Empire versus Indy Clan, Russia Win versus Drive, OXL Second versus SNA Gaming, First Nation versus Vol, the Eline versus Rage, and EMP will be moving up as well. So that does put us uh that does put us at about 28, 27 teams that are playing today. We actually have a quite a large turnout. But the first teams that we will be seeing for today will be Matrix versus DTT Nation. Like I said, I'm just, we're just waiting on the match to get set up. You guys are wondering, we are broadcasting on our four platforms today, Facebook, Mob Crush, and Twitter. And we will have giveaways for each platform, giveaways of 500 credits per platform. 500 credits, you can use those to do anything you wanted in-game, opening packs, all that kind of stuff. Especially with the new update out. 500 is a lot of stuff. Alright, we are in the lobby. Just waiting on both teams to get set up. Also guys, I will be reading the chats 
every once in a while. I might not be able to read all of the comments you make, but I'll try my best to read as many people as possible. So if I do miss your comment, I do apologize. Hacks, or can we see the brackets? I just showed the brackets. Unless you want to see them again. What do you mean, rip brackets, brah? I just showed the brackets earlier, but we could show them once more. Here we go. If you guys haven't seen the brackets, or if you just joined, these are the bracket lineups for today. As you see, first action. Let me actually refresh this because first action probably should move ahead. There we go. First action moving up right away. Expert shots versus Sky Gaming, in gaming, FBI clan, VIP uh, versus Vet. E Nation Forever, Matrix, DTT, Nation, Crazy Boys, Dark Fantasy, Marines versus Blue Fire, Painkiller moves up, Easy moves up, Titanium versus Polylysis, uh, Black Empire versus In Clan, Russia Win versus Drive, OXL Second, SNA Gaming, First Nation versus Vol, D Line versus Rage, and EMP moving up. Alrighty. Yeah, feel free if, if you guys like if you guys want to see anything uh, in specific, feel free to actually let me know. Uh, I'll I'll try to actually uh, read the comments as as soon as possible. All right, we are in the lobby. Both teams look like they are ready to go. Let us begin the first matchup for today, which will be DTT Nation versus Matrix. We will have Matrix on the red side. We will have DTT on the blue side. So let us see how this turns out for today. Loading into the map right now, Team Battle Conversion. Alrighty. That moment you find out your capture card wasn't plugged in. Oh boy. Pro skills, pro strats. One moment, please. This should load up real quick, though. GG me. I, I didn't have it plugged in. Professional commentator confirmed. Axer is too pro. Have I played in... Uh, have you played the Red Cup before? Oh, you're talking to someone else. I've played the Red Cup before. I've actually played in these tournaments before. Uh, I played for a team called SXC, but uh, now SXC is dead because the leader decided to close it down. No worries about that, though. After that, I really haven't been playing... Uh, competitive for a while. Hmm. Some technical difficulties right now. This thing is not turning on, which is uh, fantastic. Ah, I thought I was going to start this off perfectly fine, but uh, it's not going as well as I would like it to have. I'm sorry about this, guys. We'll get it working in a moment. Oh, 
Oh, I see I see a screen now. That's a good thing. It's a frozen screen. So is that is that a good thing? We see something. The game was halfway done pretty much. We do have Matrix in the lead, 26 to 15. But you guys just see a frozen image right now for some reason. Don't know exactly why that's up. Hey, there we go. All right, let's get into that. I do apologize for the technical difficulties right there. But we are back halfway through the game. Let's talk about what is happening. Let's actually analyze and see what is happening right now. Kumoto actually going 11 and 3. Pretty much being a hard carry for Matrix right now. Matrix doing extremely good. Trying to push in right here, but did not notice there was a recon to his right and got taken out. You have Imro pushing in right here. Not able to get the kill, but does get the assist with his teammate's grenade. Pushing in, trying to get another kill right here. Picks up one on D10. Backs off while he has to reload. You have Linge in the back getting killed by a concussion grenade through the roof. Devil trying to push from the side. We do see it looks like we're going to have a DTT comeback right here. They are getting a few more kills now, which is kind of surprising to see. They weren't doing too hot at the beginning of the match, but they're doing a bit better now. They are picking up a bit more kills. However, they are they do need to be careful. Uh, they are using a lot of their grenades for their kills. They need to make sure that uh, they're getting gun kills as well, because grenades are the only way that you can get kills, and also grenades are kind of limited. They're a lot less, uh, they're a lot more limited than at least the bullets that they have to shoot people. D10 going in for a kill right here with the Bramson, picking up the kill on row, going around, trying to get to the top, goes up the staircase over there, Green up, pushing around, knows there's someone on the other side of this, uh, of this catwalk right here, and takes them out. EMP strike deployed as well. This game is slowly starting to slip away from DTT. They started to catch up, but they look like they are starting to give up that advantage they had, the momentum they had. 34 to 43. Very, very uh, It was a close match. Not anymore. This is Arena pushes in, gets another recon aircraft. Not going to use it just yet because they don't need to use it just yet. Goes in for another kill with the PR 39. Keep in mind, guys, this person is actually a recon player. They're using recon right now. However, they just picked up the PR 39 from a dead assault player. And they are using it like their primary. They finally get taken out, however. That is the glitch right there. What is what is happening here? That was weird. Alright. Bro pushing in right here. Getting quickly taken out by a headshot from Devil. Devil pushing around. He knows there's a few more people up here. He's going to be going in for the kill. And it looks like that will be it. That will be the first game for today. We have Matrix taking out DTT. 50 to 38. Alrighty, I do apologize for the start of the game, guys, but we got right back into it. We now know what was up. We now saw the first game for today. We will be getting into the second game very, very shortly. The second map will be on rooftops, as you see right here. Team Battle Rooftops will be the second game. Now, if we see Matrix take another victory on this map, they will be moving ahead. And DTT will get knocked out. This is a best out of three, five on five cup. So keep that in mind. If if a Matrix wins another game, DTT will be out. Rooftops is a completely kind of different map. It's a different kind of play style for it. So sometimes we do see comebacks on this map. Uh, we will have to wait and see how it plays out. DTT, they were coming back last game as well. So uh, they do have a chance of actually taking out Matrix. They just need to be careful about what they do, how they make their plays, all that kind of stuff. All right, we will be switching into the second game shortly. We are just waiting on the password. All right, Haxer, can I have a thousand credits? No, you cannot have a thousand credits. 
Uh, hacks or why are they not allowing tier 8 weapons in the tournament? Well, at least right now, tier 8 weapons, they're not very balanced. I don't know if you haven't realized this. Uh, they are waiting on some balances to get pushed out. They are constantly monitoring the performance of the weapons, all that kind of stuff. If you guys didn't know, they actually, uh, they actually, they, they nerfed the sapper, not the, yeah, they actually, yeah, they nerfed the sapper, the stacker already. Uh, they also buffed a few of the other tier 8 weapons, at least the extremely weak ones, uh, like the, like the Bounty Hunter VP prototype, uh, that got buffed a bit. Pretty much they, right now they're looking at how can they buff guns or how can they debuff guns. Right now the stacker was just insanely OP. Uh, so they decided to reduce the fire rate, reduce the accuracy, but they did buff the duration that the uh, the bonus stacks uh, lasted for. So there are some changes they are making to the tier 8 weapons. That is one of the reasons why they decided not to actually use them uh, right off the bat. They're like, we're going to wait on, uh, we're going to wait on the second one. We're going to wait on, uh, we're going to wait on people to give us feedback. We're going to wait on all that kind of stuff. Pretty much they got feedback pretty quickly. The first day that people saw the stacker, it was like, GG, this is OP as heck. Especially when I tried it out, oh my gosh. The first time I played with the stacker, that is so OP. It was super OP. It's a bit better now, but it's still uh, it's still pretty crazy. The blue cup is at 2 a.m. That is why there is a red cup. For right now, it is actually the afternoon for some people. Uh, that is one of the reasons why they have the red cup right now. So uh, people from different time zones have access to these cups so people could actually watch. As if it was just the blue cup, people who are on the other side of the world, at least for me, uh, wouldn't have the chance to watch. Uh, it would be a bit more difficult for them. So two time zones, two different cups, makes it a bit easier for everyone. Guys, is the staining 56 overpowered? Uh, no, I, I wouldn't say the staining is overpowered. The staining is actually pretty balanced. Uh, if you know how to use the staining well, you could do well with it. It's not like it's overpowered in any term. Uh, it, it doesn't have full armor penetration like some tier 7 weapons do, like the, uh, the tier 6 weapons have. Uh, it doesn't have super heavy damage like some of the other weapons. It doesn't have the best range, but it's still a very good weapon. Personally, the Staining 56 is my uh, my support weapon of choice. So if if you chose told me to choose over the Hauser, over the uh, over the Staining, I would pick the Staining because I'm a bit better with it. It has a bit more accuracy, and accuracy is sometimes a bit better than the damage that it can do. What do you mean the staining sucks? Brah, brah, no. The shred is not better. I guess it's all preference. I personally think, I personally think the staining is life. I will have to prove you my, uh, my non-existent skills in a few short moments. Uh, if we don't get into the actual tournament match, I'm actually gonna show you guys what I mean by staining is life. I love this thing so much. If you want to know how many kills I have with this gun right now, let's actually quickly show you right now. Look at this. Look how many kills I got with this gun. Let me actually equip some stuff. So look at this. 7,000 kills. 7,600 kills with the staining, guys. This gun is OP. Okay, it's not OP. It's just it's really fun to use, at least for me. All right, we're going to equip some stuffs. And we're going to put on an outfit. We're just going to put on a... Some gears. I don't want to watch a video. We're just gonna put on this the samurai stuff. I usually keep the default uh, the default support helmet just because it does a bit more damage to uh, recon players that way. But you see right here, seven thousand kills with the staining. Love this gun so much. What do you mean nab? I'm not a nab, I love this gun. Like if you look at all my other weapons right here, I do have uh, only 800 with the QKR, only 500 with the Shred guys, 400 with the Hauser. Yeah, pretty much uh, my, my favorite support weapon at the moment.
There you go. It's kind of the same with uh, some of the other weapons as well. Before they had the uh, the armor penetration update, uh, before guns were easier to use. For example, 2,000 kills with a tier 1 pistol compared to the Mirager, which is now uh, some people's like personal favorite gun. Uh, the tier 1 pistol used to be extremely good before, like Headshot City. Uh, however, it did get uh, kind of uh, dulled down, especially after the, the armor update. Rip accuracy? What you mean? 14% accuracy is pretty good, to be honest. Alright, we are in game number two. Both teams are loading into the match right now. Keep in mind, if Matrix wins another game right here, that will be it. We will see DTT getting knocked out. And we will see Matrix moving up in the brackets for today however we don't know if that's the case just yet we do know that DTT was actually putting up a pretty decent fight so we're gonna have to see how everything works out right here all right so we do have DTT on the red team over here we have Matrix on the blue this time and look at that Matrix just rushing to the bottom right away will DTT do something similar to that no but DTT will pick up the first kill of the game devil with a KOG just pre-firing and getting the first kill lag on the side pretty much DCT not trying to push up too much however that didn't work up because Matrix decides to be super aggressive at the beginning of the game picking up another nice two kills putting them in the lead for the start of this game right here Green up pushing around looking for some people on the radar with the recon class not finding anyone just yet Rove doing the same trying to cover the stairs it picks up KOG, which can be pretty helpful. Uh, spots one player over here, goes in for the kill, not able to get it, brings the player down to 14% HP, but not able to do enough damage to actually finish them off. ATT 304, spawns on the top of the map, looking for some people, probably sees that person under here, throwing some concussion grenades down just in case he didn't spot them. They're shooting at each other right now. I believe they might have just been EMP strike. Uh, EMP strikes do make it a lot more difficult to find out who is who, who is enemy, who is not enemy. You see 304 shooting at a player right here, going in for the kill, not able to do enough damage. Fumoto is able to survive with very, very low HP. And then he spots a few more kills right here. They are unaware of all the people around them. More EMP strikes getting deployed. Fumoto does have a recon, does have a turret, just deploying all of the kill uh, streaks right now. Just making it extremely difficult for DTT to get any sort of lead, trying to get any sort of uh, edge on this game. Fumoto did just die. He did just switch to the support class, so, so let's see how he uses the, this game. Usually the support class isn't really used for getting more kills. Usually they're getting used for uh, keeping your team in a certain area right there. As you see, his teammate just respawned in the same area. He just continues to pre-fire. He's be putting his health kit down right there. It will help his team heal up and keep the pressure on this team who does have a bad spawn at the moment. You see just all these players from DTT are just spawning in this one location. It makes it extremely difficult for them to get any kills. It makes it extremely difficult to actually get kills themselves. You see they're just getting mowed down. Moto picking up a nice double headshot kill right there. Getting saved by the player on the roof. 304 pretty much stop, almost stopping the spawn trap but he does get knifed right there. And it looks like it will be back to the spawn trap once again. Lag needs to get out of that building. The faster they can get out of that building, the faster the spawn trap will end. I don't know if they realize that, however, because they are just staying there. And you just see it's kill central for Matrix. Matrix is picking up kills left and right. Each of these players is also individually picking out, which makes it really, really easy for Matrix to pick up kills. Only one more kill left for Matrix. It looks like this will be it right here. Matrix taking another victory against DTT 50 to 25 good game to matrix good game to DTT matrix however will be moving ahead in today's brackets
Alrighty, that was a pretty intense match between the two teams. We will quickly make sure the results are in and make sure that Matrix does move ahead in the brackets. So we're going to quickly report the score, all that kind of stuff. And in the meantime, let's take a look at the brackets, see if anyone else has moved ahead as well. These are the brackets for today for the Go For Modern Combat 5 Red Cup number 20. Looks like uh, no one just yet. No one just yet. We do know EMP, uh, Easy, Painkiller, and First Action moved ahead right away because they have no one to face at the moment. But other than that, no one else has moved ahead. So we might have actually seen the first team moving up to RO16. By actually taking out another team, we just saw the game right here, Matrix versus DTT Nation. And we did see DTT Nation getting taken out 2-0, to zero, but the results are in. Does that mean the brackets have been updated? Maybe not just yet, because it does take some time. However, we do know the results are in. And there we go, Matrix is already ahead. So they will be facing either Crazy Boys or Dark Fantasy as soon as that game finishes up. Guys, if you're wondering, we are going to be doing some giveaways today as well. We're going to be doing some giveaways depending on the brackets. Uh, if the brackets are full, let me quick, actually quick switch back for you guys and explain this a bit better. So, if, let's for example, if RO16 is full, if all the teams have moved ahead to RO16, we will begin our first giveaway for today. Our first giveaway for today will be on our Facebook page. So as soon as all the teams move up to the RO16 bracket, we will start our first giveaway. Same thing with quarter. As soon as the teams move up to quarter, we'll do the second giveaway for today for 500 credits in-game for Modern Combat 5. Same thing with semis. And for finals, we'll do a finals giveaway about halfway through the finals. Since the finals take a bit more time uh, than, than actual uh, since other parts of the bracket. They take a bit longer than standard matches. Finals, best out of five instead of best out of three. Did Radu text you back yet? Uh, no, he hasn't actually texted me back, but I'm pretty sure he sent out credits to people. I At least I have a confirmation now. Uh, one of the players finally got their credits. I don't know how long it took them, but they finally got their credits. They sent me a photo. It said they got the credits for in-game. I could actually try to pull that up right now. Uh, so if you guys haven't gotten the credits just yet, let me know. Uh, I recommend contacting me on Twitter, at MrOMGWTFHackser. Um, I'll try my best to get everything sorted out for you. But I do know for certain he has finally been sending out credits to everyone. Let's see, where is that photo at? I have the I have a photo. Someone sent me the photo saying thanks for the credits uh, when when they finally got them. But yeah, if you haven't gotten your credits from previous cups, please do let me know. He's uh, the community manager has been sending them out recently. I believe he's just really backlogged at the moment. He he has so many people to send credits to. It might take a while to do, but uh, he has been sending them out. So guys, we have hope now. Hope that people will finally get their credits. Why is Oni allowed? It's like Paragon if you want it, and you have to pay a lot of packs. It's unfair. Is Oni still, uh, is Oni still, because I know they had an event for it. Is that event over? Let me quickly take a look, because the last time I checked, last time I checked, they had an event for the Oni armor. Uh, you need to pay a ton for the packs. I don't, did anyone get the armor just yet? It's ending in 15 hours, so... They won't have the armor before the uh, before this cup is over, even if they did pay a lot of packs. Actually, no, this, some people actually do have it, because this is a different event. They apparently have multiple ones. Cause I, had, I was signed up for the other one before. I don't know if they will. Uh, I don't know if they will stop players from using the Oni armor. I will discuss it, however, uh, just so people um, 
will have a fair advantage during this because I do know, yes, there's these people that open insane amounts of pack, 158, 140, all that kind of stuff. And then there's some players who don't have the possibility of opening as many packs, even if you play normally. So I will discuss it for the finals, making sure that no one is using their Oni armor so everyone has an almost even playing field. You guys are wondering what the Oni armor does. Let's quickly switch over to here. Let's open it up. I don't have the armor myself, but I could check it out. So pretty much Oni is a slightly weaker, slightly weaker uh, Paragon, I believe. It actually has it has the same bolt resistance as whatever I'm wearing right now. So it has the same bolt resistance as Samurai. However, the perks it does so it offers additional protection for projectiles and explosive damage. So it is like a mini paragon. So increased bullet protection and yeah, that's it's pretty much a mini paragon. However, I don't know if it gives you the extra HP, I don't think so. It just gives you the the resistance, which uh, pretty much is what Paragon has. And resistance is probably the most annoying thing in total, at least the bullet resistance. Uh it, for example, if you play with a tier 8 weapon, if you ever actually used tier 8 weapons before, tier 8 weapons can like shred through paragon because the bullet resistance is it doesn't really matter about their bolt resistance. Tier 8 weapons ignore all armor. Um, so, only armor having a lot of uh, bullet resistance might be somewhat annoying. It might make it exactly like Paragon except for the extra HP. So I, I do see your point about uh, some people uh, won't have this armor. And it's only for people who open packs. I, I do agree with that. So I will talk with uh, the managers and all that kind of stuff and make sure... Uh, Make sure everything is sorted out before the monthly finals. All right. How do you get credits? Because I just got here. Good question. Good question on our YouTube page. All right, if you want to get credits, do not worry. We will have a chance for credits for everyone today. Let's quickly switch over to the brackets and explain this once more for the viewer who just asked. So usually we do four giveaways each single broadcast we do. We are currently streaming on four different platforms. Our Facebook page, Mob Crush, Twitch, and our YouTube channel. Now usually we split each giveaway or each giveaway into a different part of the tournament. For example, R016, quarterfinals, semifinals, and the finals. The first giveaway for today will be on our Facebook broadcast with the give with the hashtag R016. We're not going to start it just yet, guys, but that will be at hashtag R016 once we actually do begin. So, guys, don't start spamming R016. It's not it's not started yet. Once all the teams move into R016, once we actually have all the teams facing each other. Then we will begin the first giveaway today on our Facebook page. Same thing with the quarterfinals, then we'll be moving on to our Mob Crush, then our Twitch, and the finals will be on our YouTube page. Haxor, why is the rating system in MC5 messed up? Is the rating system messed up? Like, personally, personally, I don't have any issues with the rating system. It's pretty simple to do. Like, right now, I only have this many because I was leaving matches a lot, and I was trying to do some stuff, like, pistol only. Before, I had 2,200. Uh, but, like, it's not hard to really get rating in this game. The rating system used to be a lot more messed up, however, it's, it's pretty simple to do. I don't know why the rate you say would say the rating system is messed up, however. One thing I would say is messed up right now is currently the squad league, uh, just because of the fact that it's not really balanced at all. So, you know, the thing is, right, for, for, for multiplayer, they try to balance the, the games up by matching you with people of almost similar rank, right? So diamonds would be facing with diamonds or platinums or people really close to them, right? For the most part, for the most part. It's not all the time. However, for squads, for squads, we could have someone 
who has gold league or someone who has like almost even platinum league and they'll be putting put with people with bronze who have like 700 500 points who can't actually give them any points now if they had it so it was a bit more balanced out so uh, these squads with low points couldn't play the squads with higher points I feel like it would be a bit more competitive that's one of the reasons why people with high points don't play anymore uh, they they just play to get a certain amount of points once they got those certain amount of points they just stopped playing so for example these teams on the top they haven't moved in forever half of the teams on the top boosted themselves here so they would just have another squad and they would just boost each other up because uh, before the legit point the legit point was about 2,000 points so like a right around right around here was like legit teams I don't know how many of these teams are still legit however because there were still a lot of people boosting uh, and if you guys don't know what boosting is it's pretty much making multiple squads and just fighting each other and giving your own team wins that's, that's about it but yeah there are some legit teams still up here however no one near this point range usually plays anymore it's because they're scared of all the people at the bottom and the fact that they could lose massive amount of points there's no point in playing a match if you're not gonna find any high high point players that's that's pretty much their uh, their logic Where's the first giveaway going to be at? First giveaway for today will be on our Facebook page, everyone. Yeah, the rating system was messed up before. However, they made a lot of improvements to it and it's a lot better now. That's what someone said on our Facebook page. Why Paragon and VIP? Oh, if you are talking about this right here, if I go into my armor, right, I have I have this armor, and a lot of people want this armor, but a lot of people can't get this armor. And then, you're, then they're like, how do you have this armor? You're only VIP level 1. Yes, I have this armor. Yes, I am VIP level 1. However, I got the armor from Gameloft. They gave it to me because I broadcast. That is pretty much it. I've been broadcasting for a few months now and uh pretty much they were like okay we're just gonna give you the stuff to pretty much like show it off that's that's not like a quote or anything from them it's just me that's i'm pretty sure that's why they gave it to me but uh yeah i have everything but some special armors i don't have the oni armor at all i don't have like the class armors i'm really close to getting these class armors like i just need a chest plate for this one right here uh, a few other classes for sniper. I don't have the sniper armor. I'm missing one piece. Like this, this stuff I got legitly. Like I got, let's see, I got a uh, got Legion legitly. I got Hazard legit. I got this one legit, the Santa suit. I also got parts of the uh, parts of the samurai, but I never got the full thing. But other than that, then they just gave me the rest. All right, looks like we are finally going to be getting into another match, guys. So prepare yourselves for game number two. This will be Painkiller X, if this does work out as intended. Let us see how everything works out. And actually, wasn't Painkiller X actually ahead in the brackets? Weren't they? They were ahead in the brackets. That means Marines or Blue Fire has moved ahead. And what is up it looks like blue fire has moved ahead taken out marines and they will be facing painkiller x right now we are just waiting on blue fire to join and once they have all their players we will be good to go
Alrighty. They're looking pretty good. Just need two more players and we will begin. Looks like Painkiller X is going to be taking the blue side unless they switch it up real quick. But uh, right now it seems definitive that they're taking the blue side. We're just still waiting on one more player. Player, please. We're so close to starting. No worries, though, guys. We will get into the gameplay very shortly. I know that's what you want to see. It's going to be on Team Battle Scramble. Actually, no. This is apparently the second match. Is it the second match? Really? Oh, no. Never mind. They 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 hosted it on the wrong map. So now they have to rehost it again. GG. GG for days. It will get fixed again. After they host it one more time, the struggle. All right. In the meantime, let me, pull, let me quickly switch over to uh, this. Here we go. All right, Haxer, according to Radu, I'm not on the list for the giveaway I won a month ago. I know you won RX480 FTW. Let me quickly uh, check that out. I will resolve anything, because I know he's been sending out credits finally to everyone. I'll make sure everyone who did win credits gets their credits. I do have, I do save lists of uh, the people who won their their credits, so it's not like I don't have documentation of uh of people who won. So don't worry about that. I will make sure that gets resolved. I'm a bit confused what's happening. So they, they, they re-hosted the game, alright? But then they left the lobby. And now there's no lobby. And now I don't have a password for their game. Why you do this to me, teams? I just want to spectate your game. I need your password, though. Can y'all unban me? You'll ban for no reason. Uh, what platform are you on, and have you also contacted Gameloft customer support? Because uh, I know there are some people who do get false bans. Uh, I, I can't really personally do anything about the false bans uh, because I'm not really like a community manager or someone who deals with the bans, all that kind of stuff. Um, but what I can do is try to give you some information and try to maybe inform you why you were banned if if it was actual valid reason uh, for example a lot of pe reason why a lot of people get banned on at least on at least like android uh, is because for android usually there's people with uh, custom json files for graphics uh, that will get you banned on ios a lot of people who usually get banned are usually using like a jailbreak and they have this uh, program that they would use to get like free in-app purchases for some apps. 
Uh, if the game detects that kind of stuff, I believe it bans you uh, as well. So you do need to be careful about what you're running on your device uh, before you actually before you actually open it up, because uh, there are th some things that will get you banned. How Axer, why is there no stream for Android? I'm pretty sure that someone else is streaming it. I believe it might just be on the Mob Crush because it's the Mob Crush Cup. I want to see gameplay, not a picture. We could see some gameplay. Just look, we have to wait on the people to get their stuff set up. You see, look, they have 5v6, which is not supposed to be a thing. It's supposed to be 5v5. But why is there six? And why is there another player called Aerie in the match? No clue. We have to wait on everything to get resolved and for these teams to start. This is why it takes a while. I do apologize. Alrighty. You see, this is this is what I have to struggle with all day. Now they're missing a player. Uh first world problems when when the teams don't join their sides, you know. We will get into the gameplay shortly. I do apologize. I know you guys want to see the gameplay as well. You don't want to see the, the intermission scene for, for hours on end. But this is sometimes what we have to deal with. I wish I had two devices. I, I probably should get like another device. So like during this, I could actually be playing and showing you some gameplay while we're waiting on some of uh, the teams to get set up. However, I currently, the second only second device I have is the iPad 4. And the iPad 4 is probably not the best device to, uh, to try to stream with uh, since it's somewhat weak. And by somewhat weak, I mean it's really old and it's pretty weak. Spam the angry face? Why would he spam the angry face, guys? What did I do to deserve that? Actually, you're not actually spamming the angry face right now, but please don't. Hey, Haxer, can you 1v1 me? Uh, I don't usually accept 1v1s anymore. Um, the main reason because of that is I don't play the game as much as I used to. And I don't want to screw up my 1v1 record. Currently, my 1v1 record is like 42 to 3. I don't want to I don't want to screw that up now. My 1v1 record is pretty good. You might think, oh, that's nothing. I have 100 wins or I have however many wins. But I have wins against like SXC Joker, and then Joker has a win against me. But I still won Joker like 10 to 4 or something. I believe that was the score. It was like a VIP game, and it was such a long time ago, however. But uh, I don't want to screw up my, my 1v1 record. For the last few weeks, I've checked for both Mollipurst and Twitch, and it's never there. Someone should be streaming the cup. I'm pretty sure someone is streaming it. I just I don't know why it wouldn't be uh why it wouldn't be not showing. It's kind of weird. I don't know what's up. We have the players in right now, right? Unless unless my game glitched out, and I don't want to click uh I don't want to click stop spectating. Oh, there we go. Look at that. We're game starting. We're finally game starting, guys. We're finally loading in. Let us see. Painkiller X versus Blue Fire very shortly. 
And by very shortly, I mean a few seconds while we're loading in. Good thing I didn't click uh, stop spectating, you know, or else I would have uh, been destroyed. I wouldn't get kicked out of the lobby because of that. Anyways, let us get into the gameplay right here. Once again, we are on Scramble Team Battle. I believe this is game number one. This is game number one between Blue Fire and Painkiller X. Let's take a look and see what both teams are doing for Painkiller X. It looks like we have a full out rush to the back. We have Risk pushing in right here, getting taken out by Thor. Thor still in the back, still seeing a lot of enemy players. He does pick up one more before he does get taken out. We do have some players on Blue Fire going around and trying to flank, trying to use the sniper right here. And let's see actually how this works out. This might uh, work out pretty well because this is a pretty good spot. We do have some more players on Blue Fire pushing in right here, like Thor with the Bramson spotting one player right here. He knows there's around this corner. He's going in for the kills as well. He does some damage. He's going to kill on Navy. It's his reload done. I don't think the other team knows he's here. Yeah, he Reese getting taken out by DTN. DTN getting a nice double kill. Surviving right there. Still one more player behind him. Will he get a triple kill right here? He gets a triple headshot kill. He is able to survive even with low HP. He just baited all those players into the headshots right there. And he is able to get his recon aircraft. He does know there is a person behind here. Will he get another headshot kill? He's going in for the kill right here. And he's not able to get the kill on Navy. Navy survives with very low HP. Does have his turret. Doesn't know there's a person to his right or person behind him now. But will he know in a few seconds? We will find out. He's getting shot at. He finally gets taken out by Arsel. We have Mango in the back trying to snipe some players. He saw a player push in. Maybe not realizing that he was that close to him, however. And he does get taken down right there. Mango respawning. He's been pushing in with the BSW. He does need to be kind of careful. Uh, the snipers are a bit harder to use. Uh, especially, uh, depending on, it depends on the team usually. Because, like, there's some players who are extremely, extremely good with the snipers. Uh, for example, some of the Japanese teams, like First Action, uh, they, they are, have amazing sniper players on their team, and they can utilize it extremely well. Uh, however, Mango needs to be careful about pushing in, stuff like that. Mango taking a kill right there, just getting a long range snipe before he got and taken out. Thor right here as well, currently using the recon class. But he did pick up a KOG from the ground. He is spotting some players across the way. Spotting one, taking out Astro with a headshot. He will see that there is someone very close to him on the right in a few short moments on his radar. And he probably did spot that one player. He does see a few more coming in, but he's going to decide to push out to the outside. Pushing up for a kill right here. Not able to get it, however. Sniper taking out Arsenal right there. Trying to get to the back position. Using the times for scope it is a bit Personally, it's a bit easier to use. Uh, however, it's really all up to preference. Some people do like the Time 6 scope. I think the Time 4 is just a bit easier to aim just because the style of the crosshair. Astro moving up. He's trying to get some kills right here, but Mango digging a snipe kill. Street work. Trying to push in. It looks like he has a free pass as well. There's no one in this bunker right here. He's free to push up. Picks up a kill on Astro. Looks like he wants to keep on pushing in. He will continue to push in. Gets the kill right there. Oh, that was actually a decoy that he shot. Takes out the decoy. Has to be careful. Well, the entire enemy team knows he's here. He does get taken out by a concussion grenade that just was thrown on him. ENT. Still using recon, but has picked up a KOG from the ground. He does know there's a lot of people around this corner. He wants to peek. He needs to be careful about how he peeks into the aims in right here, aiming down sides with the KOG. Even if you're not in assault class, you still get the extra damage now. It still makes the KOG a very, very useful gun. Thor pushing up right here, getting a kill. And it looks like this person in the corner will get kind of cornered off. And it looks like they were taken down. Ish. Duck right here. Oh, he actually escaped from the one player that was following him. Mango going for some sniper kills. Being a lot of people, picking up one on Navy, bro. He knows there's a few more people around this corner. He's trying to pick up the kills before they push him. Almost getting the snipe right there. He knows there's a few more. Trying to throw some test grenades as well. At least salvage some kills off of the situation. He is able to survive for this long. And it looks like his teammate was there to support him. He is able to survive. And he stays positive as well. Player spawns extremely close to him, however. I don't know if that player has realized that. Because they weren't actually using recon. Looks like that player was also just taken out. Motorhead pushing up right here. 
didn't have a recon, didn't know that there was a person around that corner, and we do see him dropping a shred. So let's see if uh, if Blue is able to actually use that shred at all. Arsenal pushing in right, right here with Bramson. Picking up one kill, not able to get the double. His teammate is there to support him, but it's not enough as we do have Rius surviving with one HP, but he does finally get taken out by Thor. You do see Blue Buyer doing so much better this game right here. 45 to 26 again. Painkiller X, Painkiller X. Probably caught them by surprise. The Painkiller X has done pretty decent in previous cups. However, this cup right here, they're not doing too hot. Only one more kill left for Blue Fire. And it looks like, what was that? He just looked right at the player and he just looked away. But that will be it right there. We will see Blue Fire taking the first victory for today on Team Battle Scramble. Now keep in mind this is best out of three, so if we do see Blue Fire pulling off another win, that will be it for Painkiller X. Painkiller X will get knocked out. We will see Blue Fire moving ahead in our brackets. Alrighty, let's get into some comments as well guys. Keep in mind I am monitoring the chat on all the platforms So if I'm not able to actually uh, Read your chat. I do apologize. We are currently streaming on Facebook mob crush twitch and our YouTube page I have to kind of juggle my chats around I have to kind of try to read uh, chats from each person from each single platform So it's a somewhat it's somewhat difficult to do However, I try my best Some people say the stats shouldn't be shown on the screen. Uh, for some part, yes. However, it does help identify the player that we switching we are switching to. Uh, it does also show their KDs, the kills, and the guns they have. It also shows their class. So it also gives us it gives us a lot of information just by having that stat thing open. It's not too intrusive. You might think otherwise, uh, but personally, I I I don't know. It's how we've been streaming forever, so. We're not going to change it just yet, or next. I believe the monthly final is coming up, and I believe this is going to be the final monthly final. Actually, is it? No, no, no. I don't think so. But all I know is it's the monthly final. The monthly final for this month is going to be insane with a prize pool of 3,000 euros. Why is the new armor event pay to win? I don't know. Good question. I I have no clue. I was I was complaining as well. I was talking to the community manager about that, saying how the event was pretty much unfair. Uh, however, I yeah, I, I, he didn't really respond too much about that. But I I do agree with you. This new event is just. Uh, like, I personally don't have the armor myself. I would have tried to get the armor, like, if you needed to grind. Like, if it was, like, kills in multiplayer. I would have grinded for the armor. But it's not kills in multiplayer. It's open up packs. And I don't have packs. And I can't open as many packs as these people in first place. Opening 150 to 200 packs. So I do feel your pain. I do know what you mean. Like, maybe I could open one or two. Like, I can't really do anything else about it. Let's open an armor pack. I'm probably going to get nothing or just diamond dust. Let's see. I actually do need to open an armor pack to get one thing. And it's going to be... No, diamond dust. Nice. I just wasted all my credits on that right there. Gotta love the diamond dust, you know. Everyone loves diamond dust. Totally. That's why I have 2 million of it. Almost 3 million of it. It was actually a lot easier to get Diamond Dust before, but they uh, they reduced the amount by by quite a huge amount. You used to get like 30,000, I believe. Was it that much? I, I, all I know is you got some insane amount of Diamond Dust for, uh, for, for, for 
or getting duplicate items. All right, we will get into the next game very shortly. We are just joining the match right now. They do have five of the players in. We're just waiting on the other team, and we will begin the game. It will be a team battle on streets. Team battle on streets. So it's going to be a bit different than the first map, Scramble. Scramble is a bit more balanced. However, this map is going to be a bit more close range oriented. Also, let's quickly take a look at our brackets. We haven't checked them in a bit, and we do see there's been quite a few changes that have happened. We do see First Action is finally playing against Sky Gaming. We have FBI playing against D Nation Forever, Matrix versus Dark Fantasy, Blue Fire versus Painkiller X, Easy Clan, iOS versus Titanium, Black Empire versus Drive, OXL Second versus Vol, and Z Line versus EMP Clan. And since we are technically in RO16, we have our brackets full for today. We could begin our first giveaway on our Facebook page. People on Facebook, all you would need to do is type in hashtag RO16. Type in hashtag RO16 for a chance to win 500 credits for Modern Combat 5 on our Facebook page. Keep in mind, you only need to type it in once. Only need to type it in once. Typing in multiple times does not increase your chance in winning. I don't know why I say this. But people type it in multiple times. But typing in once is all you need to do. So please keep the chat friendly. Keep the chat not spammed. Even though it's going to get spammed anyways. But guys, yes, like I said, first giveaway will be on our Facebook page. If you don't know what our Facebook page is, facebook.com slash modern combat. Actually, is it slash modern combat? Let's double check real quick. Hacker, what are you doing? You stream this all every week, but you don't know. Yes, it is slash Modern Combat. Cool. Or you can just, if you have the Facebook app, just type in Modern Combat. You'll find the page. We have almost 300, oh, three, actually, we have almost 350,000 likes on our page. And you should just see the broadcast on the top. Ooh, that's a good idea. Being able to sell basic and mastery kits for credits. If I was doing it, however, if I was thinking of a system to get rid of the useless mod kits and the extra mastery kits, all that kind of stuff, I would have like a trade-up kind of system. Maybe maybe mastery kits you could sell because you don't really need mastery kits. Uh, but mod kits, you usually need a lot of mod kits. Personally, I still need a ton of improved mod kits. I still need a ton of perfect mod kits. How do I get them? I would need to open packs. But... I have like 90, 90 some basic mod kits. Like if they had a system where you could trade 10 basic mod kits for one improved kit, you might think that's a ripoff or something like that. I I think that's fine. If you could trade your kits, like basic kits for, for perfect kits, all that kind of stuff, or like vice versa, I think it would be very, very helpful, especially for the players who don't have their stuff maxed out just yet. All right, here we go. We got Painkiller on the blue side. We got Blue Fire on red. So let's see what happens right off the bat. We see a few trade kills. Google trying to push him right here, spotting one player getting taken out by DNT. Currently, it's kind of getting slow. It looks like they also have an inactive player, an AFK player. Don't exactly know what he's doing back here. Or it's not, he's not really helping out at all. Uh, right now, we do have Painkiller X taking control of the center building. And he will just be continuously uh, staying here. Throwing some, some, some grenades. Trying to get some grenades in the back. 
They know there's a player in the back right here. Has their AFK player gone active now? Or is he still AFK? Looks like he's finally back, ready to go. He's gonna group up with his teammates. Hopefully this one extra player will help out Bluefire, getting a few more kills. Let's see how everything does work out right here. Right now it's not, we don't see too much action going on. We do see both teams are kind of playing a bit defensively. We have Matrix kind of trying to keep the, uh, the middle house, the middle area. And we have Bluefire trying to keep the back. Thor coming from the side, picking up a nice double kill right there. And he is he able to escape. He's trying to escape. He needs to be careful about peeking out, though. Peeks out for another second and is able to take out Aerie and get a recon. All right, a turret spots another player rushing out. Trying to go in for the kill. Not able to do it, and he does get killed. You have Thor respawning right here, spotting one player to his right. Don't think he spotted him in time though on his radar. He finally turns over and he is able to kill on Navy Bruh. Reed is pre-firing with the shred, hoping someone peeks out. However, he's being very cautious as well. He's not really doing too much at the moment. He's he hasn't even hit a single shot yet. He has 0% accuracy. Oh wait, no, he finally got a kill. He finally got a kill, guys. He had 0% accuracy at first. 0-0 zero, zero kills, and it was already almost three minutes into the game. We have DTN picking up a kill with some test grenade right there. Our Marinix pushing from behind. We do see uh, just pretty much getting sandwiched off by Painkiller X. Painkiller X coming from both sides. Putting a lot of pressure on Blue Fire. Blue Fire pretty much losing almost their entire team. However, Blue Fire does still have the advantage at the moment. They still do have the lead over Painkiller X. Painkiller X just struggling to find some kills right here. Shadow picking up a kill on Thor right there. We have Reed with a Berserk getting the extra damage. Spotting one player going in for the kill has enough damage to take him out however he is able to get the assist instead of getting the actual kill right there you know there's a few more people around the corner goes in for the kill gets one on airy but he finally gets taken out as well google a few other painkiller members pre-firing hoping no one rushes through the doorways should have checked the right doorway and didn't check it in time he does get taken out dtn gets a free pass to push into the building and look at that he gets to see these players right here he's gonna wait for the pre-fire to end oh but he gets concussion grenaded in the process, Marinix pushed pre-firing in with the KOG, hoping to hit some shots. Not able to really see anyone. Doesn't realize there's a person on the top. This person on the top is probably the biggest threat right here. Ari throwing some concussion grenades on the stairs, trying to stop the people from pushing up right there. And it kind of does work out. We do have the player who was damaged on the bottom of the map. We have Blue just continuously pushing in. Thor picking up kills left and right, getting a kill on Google right there. Securing his turret kill streak. Only needs a few more to get his EMP. A few players above him, and he knows that they're above him as well. He does have the recon class. He does see them on his mini map. He does get killed, however, from someone on the side. We see Painkiller X pulling out the heavy. Google with the slack right here. Google kind of going super neg uh, with 1 and 8 score. He needs to do a bit better to help his team out. Google picking up a kill finally on Thor and switching back to his shotgun. I believe that was all the heavy ammo he had. Red, Reed, going in for a kill right here. Not able to get any of them. We do see Painkiller X getting a nice triple kill right there. Only two more players on the blue fire team remaining before the rest respawn. Marnix throwing some construction raids. Trying to stop people from pushing in from the other side. However, his teammate did not have his back. He does get taken out. Painkiller X trying to push down the stairs right here. Going in for the kill. But Thor! Thor is able to get Google right there. Thor is able to walk right past him and secure the kill. Now the thing is, like situations like that, if if they had it so players actually could collide with each other, like you couldn't run through another player, I personally think uh, it, we wouldn't have situations like that. I think we would see a lot more knife kills, uh, we would see a lot more uh, actual solid kills instead of people just going through each other. I, I do I do understand why it doesn't, it's not like that. However, like if they had this kind of mechanic, possibly for modern combat versus uh, like, if they, if they had those kind of mechanics, it would make the game a bit more competitive, a bit more difficult to play. Anyways, it looks like that will be it. We will see Blue Fire. Oh, no, actually, yeah, we will see Blue Fire taking out Painkiller X in the second game. 45 to 50. 50 Blue Fire. 45 Painkiller X. Good game to Blue Fire. Good game to Painkiller X. However, like I said, we will see... Blue Fire moving ahead in today's brackets.
and that will put them up into the quarterfinals right away. All right, let's quickly take a look at the chat and see what's up. See what people are saying. You can now read the chat since the game is over. Guys, keep in mind, I don't read, most of the time, I don't read the chat in game. However, once we are out of the, the, uh, the gameplay, once we are actually in the lobby, waiting on the next match to start up, we can check out the chat. So if you have any questions, feel free to start asking them near the end of uh, matches. Because that is when we will start actually, uh, when we will actually start answering the questions. Now we are still doing a Facebook giveaway, it's still going on right now, we're going to be seeing one more game before we pick up the winner, pick the, and draw the winner. All you need to do is type in hashtag RO16 on our Facebook page, it's still going on right now, we will see one more, we will spectate one more match before that actually happens, so keep that in mind guys, there is still time for you to enter for 500 credits on our Facebook page. Also, there will still be giveaways on other platforms as well. We haven't done the giveaways for Mob Crush YouTube and our Twitch page just yet. What's up? Nothing's up. We're streaming. Streaming some modern combat. Like usual. Can I have some credits? You could try to get some credits. You need to enter the giveaway on our Facebook page, however. You're a good hackster, dude. Some of the CSGO hackers are cat or oh my god, see, I can't even read. Some of the CSGO casters are horrible. Can you have you there? I technically like if I wanted to try out casting for CSGO, I I could actually try to do it. I've been playing CSGO a lot, uh, at least recently. I've gotten to uh, let's see, can I open up my page? I don't know if I'm allowed to open up my page, but I'm gonna open it up anyways. Let's see, where's my Twitter at? Where's my Twitter at? Here it is. Give me a second. All right. So recently I uh, actually got to MG and to be honest, MG is pretty easy. Look at this right here. Pro CSGO player right there. Look at all those MGs in the game. 30 to 22, the carry, the dream. It wasn't really a dream. It was actually a comeback. We uh, we won. Uh, they were 14, and we were like, we had 13, but we came back. That was cool. Anyways, no more CSGO talk. Back to Modern Combat 5. We are just waiting on another match to get set up. Also, guys, people on Facebook, if you're still wondering, when are we do drawing the giveaway? We are waiting on one more uh, game to actually finish up. I'm actually I can actually host a custom game in the meantime while we are waiting on uh while we are waiting on the next game to get set up. So if you guys want to join, I will host a custom game. It will be a construction site team battle private game. Fast pawn's gonna be off because fast pawn can actually make it really hectic. The password is gonna be ESL. One, two, three. So if you guys want to join, this is open for anyone on iOS. Feel free to join. Like I said, team battle, construction site, password is ESL123. Now keep in mind, if there is a tournament match, uh, the tournament matches will take priority. Let's join a team before someone takes my spot. You know, actually they can't because I, I didn't host it as a didn't host it as a spe uh, as a competitive match. So there's no spectators. Only uh, only ten people could actually no only twelve people could join this. Face it is much better. I heard face it was a lot better. 
over like I'm I'm currently a noob, so I just want to just practice my skills in in normal comp, no matter how cancerous it may be. All right, we have some players ready joining up the match right now. We're gonna wait on at least two more, and looks like we have two more. Got a lot of people in here right here. It's gonna be five v three. Are you gonna do this to me? It's gonna be four v five. Let's go. We're gonna show you how OP my shred is. Let's not shred my staining. There's a lot of people bashing on my staining. I will show you. I will show you guys. Or unless, or we're gonna get wrecked entirely. We'll see. We'll see. How does this work out? We'll, we'll see in a few short moments. Now a lot of people are going to be like, why aren't you aiming down sights? All this kind of stuff. I don't aim down sights with the, with the staining. You don't need to aim down sights with the staining. With the staining, you just hold the fire button and you shoot. And then you get kills. That's all you need to do. So that's one of the reasons why my accuracy isn't the best. But like, it gets kills. I don't know why we complain. Like if it's super long range. Oh, there's two snipers here. Got that one. Oh my god, they're all snipers! That's a decoy. That wasn't a decoy, never mind. I got a headshot right there. That looked like a decoy. Free fire across the map for days. There's a few guys in the corner over here. Oh, that was an assist. No worries. Gotta be careful. They're gonna be coming in from right here. I'm gonna put a health kit down. We're gonna be pushing up. Take these new areas, guys. I gotta get my reload soon as well. 40 ammo is kind of kind of low for the It's still usable, however. I could reload right now. There's no one in this area or general vicinity right now. There's one guy on the stairs right here. I would get the got him. Nice. I mean, got him. Nice. Easy kills. I don't know why people say this gun's so bad. Ah, I just got quick scoped. I just got quick scoped. Yo, Sean, please. But yeah, I don't, I don't know. I, I personally enjoy this gun a lot more than the uh, than the shred. I find it easier to use than the shred as well. There's a guy around this corner. I know you're here. I want to throw a concussion grenade at you. Oh, get out of here! Get out. There was two. Revive though. I can revive right on them. They won't expect anything. Joke's on you. I'm right here. Peekaboo. What's up, man? You're dead. What's up, man? You're not dead. You're getting hit, though. One around this corner. I get the kill. I got the kill. Cool, cool. Like this gun's really easy to use, but people people underrate it just because it's a Mark IV. Not Mark IV. It's a it's a tier four. All right, let's put some health kits down. Get my team. There we go. There's one right there. Got him. What's up? What's up? No, you're dead. Never mind. Someone got the assist for me. We do have a lot of the people in the back right here. Recon aircraft deployed. Oh boy, look at that. He's gonna get a nice triple kill. I'm gonna do the same thing. Be a noob and throw a concussion grenade over the wall. Probably not gonna hit anyone though. I'm gonna go in with my team right here. Easy. Give Sean right here with the uh. Oh, I had to reload. That would have been a bad push. Thing. Oh, that's a concussion grenade. Ah, I saw the concussion grenade too late. I saw it bouncing towards me. Get taken out. Alright. I'm not doing terrible right now. 7 and 3 is okay. Oh, there's a guy right there. What armor did, did I, that guy have paragon armor on? I hit him I hit him a lot of times. I don't know if he had paragon on or, or not. That guy's dead. Assist kill right there. Almost took that guy out, and I wasn't even shooting at him first. Like yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's usually up to preference, depending on which uh, which support gun you like better. That guy did have Paragon on. No wonder why I couldn't kill him really quick. Like that was a guy up here. I don't know exactly where up here. Looks like my team got that all sorted out. Bomber deployed. Looks like this might be the game right here. Free fire. Free fire for days. You have so much ammo. Will they get taken out by the bomber? Will the bomber finish? Oh, I gotta be careful. There's gonna be some here. Be a lot here. But it looks like that will be it. Oh, I had Paragon on myself. I can't really complain. 
Oh yeah, because I was I was I was showcasing the Paragon high and Paragon on VIP one. Oh, I feel like a noob now. I thought I had the uh, I thought I had the samurai on. Oh, I feel bad. I'm sorry, guys. I thought I had a I thought I had samurai. Shake my head, Haxter. Why are you so noob? Why do you use Paragon? I didn't realize I was using Paragon. Oh my gosh. Let me quickly go change that. I thought I was using the standard one. Not the standard one. I thought I was using a combo of the two. Let's do this real quick. Or, no, not that one. This one. No, it still has Paragon. No, I just wanted the... I wanted the Samurai. I could technically just leave the Paragon. Ah, I'm not gonna do that. I won't do that to you guys. I won't be a noob and use Paragon. Here we go. Let's get this other armor on. Not full Samurai, because I don't like full Samurai. But we will be using, uh... We will be using... Where's that? More damage to Recon class. I personally think Recon, uh, the, the support hel helmet is really good. Uh, it's kind of underrated, because no one uses it. Uh, but it's it's pretty good. 5% more damage against Recon classes can be significant, especially if you're at close range with the Recon player. It's, it can be uh, a difference between life and death. Because, you know, sometimes you hit people and they, they survive with 4% HP. This right here would have uh, finished them off. Alright, let's re-host real quick, once we got into another tournament match. Quickly check out, real quick. Alright, I'm gonna host another game one more time. We're gonna do a, uh, we're gonna do a scramble. Scramble free-for-all. Alright, we're gonna do scramble free-for-all. I'm gonna turn fast pawn off. Password's gonna be ESL123. If you're wondering why I'm pondering the free-for-all thing, is because there's going to be everyone using the Recon Blue Armor. But the thing is, the Recon Blue Armor is also going to make me do a lot more damage to them. So it's going to be like a good thing and a bad thing at the same time. But for, for the most part, there's probably going to be someone with the Recon Blue Armor in first place. Unless I, unless I clutch somehow. We'll see. We'll see how everything works out. Also, I'm... I'm since we haven't gotten to a tournament match, we're going to do, just do one more custom game right here, guys, for the people on Facebook. After we finish up this next custom game, or once we actually get into a tournament match, we will draw the winner for the Facebook giveaway. So, guys, the Facebook giveaway is soon. If you haven't entered already, don't forget to do that. Just all you need to do is go on our Facebook chat. Just type in hashtag RO16 for a chance to win 500 credits for Modern Combat 5. We will be drawing the credit winner very shortly as well. Just going to be seeing this one last game right here, or this one last custom game, or until we actually do get into the uh, the uh, tournament game, if we actually get a, uh, a password to join one of the matches. Also, let me quickly uh, let me quickly unplug my phone and take off my case. Because uh, right now my phone is heating up super bad. The thing is, when I'm streaming and bro and uh, so right now I'm streaming, charging my phone and uh, playing the game at the same time, and it, it does take a toll on the phone. It does make it heat up a lot, and when it heats up a lot, it does kind of slow down. Let's see if this works again. Please save signal. Also, we got a full lobby, so I'm just gonna start this game. Here we go. Currently, if you're wondering how I'm streaming iOS to my computer. Currently, I'm streaming from PC, yes. Uh, but I'm using an Elgato capture card. Actually, does MC5 have a complex CSGO? Uh, no, it, it doesn't actually have a complex CSGO. Personally, MC5 isn't as competitive as like a, like a CSGO game, obviously. Uh, they, there is cups, though. Oh, I forgot. There's going to be people right off the bat. Let me just get this guy right here. I know you're here, man. Oh my gosh, I know you're here, but I can't hit you. I can't hit you at all. I hit him one time. I hit him one time. My aim is so terrible right now. No worries, we will come back from that from that terrible aim. And we'll focus in. Never mind, we're gonna not focus in and we're gonna get taken out. And we get killed by invisible recon. This is why, one of the reasons I don't like playing free for all. I'm just gonna be so happy once they nerf that armor. And then everyone's gonna be so salty that they nerfed that armor. You guys don't know they're gonna make it so uh, those recon guys can uh, be seen on the radar. So uh, no more, no more cheap getting backstabbed, having no clue where the enemies are. 
So I'm gonna be so happy when that happens. Because the thing is, if I could see the person on my radar, right? If I could see the person on my radar, I could react really, really quickly. If I don't see the person on the radar, I don't know where to look, so I don't shoot. Look, there's a guy right there. I didn't know he was there. Like, the only reason I saw him there is because I saw the bullets kind of whizzing past me. Maybe this wasn't the best idea to pick free-for-all. Like I said, there's going to be so many invisible recon players. I'm playing a somewhat defensive spot right here. Stay away from those recon guys, you know, all that good stuff. Oh my gosh, Rebel destroying me. Just getting melted right there. Oh, and Rebel picks up my shred, or my staining as well. Let's see. Let's see if I can do a bit better. I just gotta be careful for the recon players. Like, if it wasn't for the recon players, I'd do a bit better. And, like, there's a guy to the side. Didn't know he was there, and he was shooting at me for a while. Get killed. Ripperonis. Blue recons for days. I'm gonna go into a super campy spot. Uh, can I go onto the sniper nest? Let's see. Look, there's a guy back here. I know there's a guy back here because he's shooting. It's one of those things. I could see if I know there's people shooting there, I can get the kills. If I don't know there's people shooting there, there's probably like a guy behind me shooting. Look, there was a recon behind me. He was shooting at me. Or, he actually, he pre-fired me there. I almost got the kill. I needed him with one more bullet. Pretty much free for all. You gotta check your back 24-7. If you don't, you're, you're, you're boned. There's probably a recon guy there. There's probably a recon guy there. You gotta be careful, because there's recon guys anywhere. And they're always shooting at you. But you don't see them on the map. You see this guy shooting at me. I don't see him on the mini-map. He's dead, though. I'm getting an extra heal speed. I got him. I got him. I was looking at both of them. There's one more here. Oh, there's one to my right. Oh, or the left. And he kills me, because I don't see him. This is this is, this is is what I complain about in this game. For real. This is like the only thing, the only issue... Uh, actually, no, that's not the only issue I have with the game. It's one of the major issues I have with the game. I used to play Free For All a lot, right? But, uh... After a while, Free For All started getting plagued by all these, uh, players with recon who are invisible, running around, like Rebel right there, and it makes it really terrible. I, I don't know, it's just, I, I feel like it's a bad experience then. Like, I can re you see, I reacted to that guy, I saw him on the radar, I saw him shooting at me, I turn around and I kill him. If it's like that, I could, no, I know this guy behind me because he didn't do too much damage. You see, look, if I can react fast enough, I can kill people. If I can't react fast enough, I can't kill people. The struggle. The struggle of the invisible recon armor of Opinus. I didn't know there was a guy there. I only knew he was there because I saw him. Oh, I gotta reload this. Got that reload. There's a recon guy shooting at me. That wasn't, yeah, no, it wasn't recon. That was actually a werewolf. Never mind. Can't really complain about that, dude. Free for all looks awesome. It is awesome, but uh, they do need to make some fixes to the game in terms of just the, the recon class. Get destroyed. Oh, there's one more. There was one more! I saw him too late! I saw him too late, though. Ah, the struggle. There's one up here. I got a hit off on him. I don't know if he's going to peek back out. I'm going to be careful. Oh, there's a guy to my right. Ah, uh, it's okay. Play Recon, you are getting owned. I don't care that I'm getting owned. It's not about kills for me, personally. I'm just trying to show me getting kills with the staining, and that's about it. Like, I could do the same thing. I could just equip to the recon class, and I could equip the blue armor, and I would do, like, ten times better. But I'm not gonna fall down to that level, because I think it's cheap. Alright, uh, where are we at? Oh, there was a guy over here, and he has invisible recon. Oh, he's actually a werewolf. He was just doing super long range. Am I going positive right now? I, I doubt that. This guy here. I missed this one. I need to be careful. This is actually a decent spot to defend. The question is, will I be able to defend it without dying? Get turned on. Get turned on! You see, I saw him on the radar, he dies. That's what happens. That's what happens, recon players. I don't see him on the radar. I don't know the guy shooting at me for an extra second, and I die. And, oh my gosh, the scoreboard! Oh, it's just so much blue armor! 
so much blue armor. This is what I'm saying. It's always going to be someone with this blue recon armor in first place. It's always going to be someone with the blue recon player in first place. All right, looks like we also got a tournament match ready to go. So we're going to quickly join up that right now. Let's see if we can get into that game or if they've already started it. It'll be first action versus Sky Gaming. Now let us, uh, we should be good to go. Let me just make sure I get into the match properly. Alrighty, uh, password, here we go. No, but like a lot of people are probably saying stuff like, Haxer, just use the blue armor yourself. You gotta use it to counter them. But the thing is like, it, I, I don't know. It's like saying, oh, people are using PR-39. I gotta use the PR-39 to counter them. I'd rather use a different gun that's a bit more skillful or a different thing that's a bit more skillful than having to switch to a uh, something that is pretty much super OP. That's one of the reasons I was kind of salty about me using Paragon last game, because I didn't want to use the Paragon last game. I had no clue I was using Paragon last game until uh, until after I started, so whoops. That's why I switched it to uh, the standard. Alright, first action versus... Sky Gaming. We already have one of the players. Let's quickly take a look at the brackets as well to see if anything has changed just yet. Quickly open this up, refresh the page. And here we go. We see first action versus Sky Gaming. That's going on right now. Blue Fire is the only team. Ooh, the Blue Fire is not the only team to move ahead. We have Easy Clan versus Drive. Going to be going on right now as well. And that's already in the quarterfinals. So we already have some quarterfinal matches going on. Also, guys, on Facebook, I haven't forgotten about you for the giveaway. We will be doing the giveaway in a few short seconds. We're going to have 30 more seconds, and we will draw the winner for our Facebook giveaway. We are just waiting on the players to join our tournament match. So we will have the, uh, the giveaway winner before we actually begin first action versus Sky Gaming. And actually, surprisingly, taking a look at this right here, uh, we do have a we do have Sky Gaming being a U.S. team. Usually, usually the Red Cup doesn't have as many U.S. teams. It's usually the uh, it's usually the the Blue Cup that has more U.S. teams. We're gonna have to see how First Action uh, is able to play against Sky Gaming and vice versa. Right now we are just waiting on the players to join the match. Once we have everyone, we will be good to go. And we will begin our next tournament broadcast. Also, people on Facebook, are you ready? Who is going to be the one to win the 500 credits for today for our Facebook giveaway. The giveaway is now closed, so if you type in R16 anymore, there's no point in typing in R16. And the winner for our Facebook giveaway is actually going to be Anthony. Anthony Espoyex? I I'm sorry if I butchered your name, but congratulations. Let me type it in the chat as well. Please post your dog tag and platform in the comments. And let me pin the comment right there. Anthony, I believe that's how I pronounce the name.
All right, we are just trying to get something resolved right now, but we will begin our match very shortly. We have both teams uh, slowly joining in the match. And we do have the winner. The winner has posted his comment. Congratulations on winning our first giveaway for today, Anthony. All you needed to do is post your dog tag, and you've done that. I got your dog tag and platform, so congrats on being the first winner for today on our Facebook giveaway. Guys, keep in mind there are going to be more giveaways for today on different platforms as well. Our Facebook giveaway is now over, but we will have one for YouTube. We will have one for Twitch and Mob Crush. Someone said Hackster is a cheater. How am I a cheater? I don't cheat. How 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 so? In which way have I cheated? It's fun watching the stream. We gotta go. Thanks for stopping by. You are leaving. All right, we need one more. Actually, we need two more players. One from each side. Rebel, first Rebel. He was in the, he was in our custom game before, but is he going to be joining this game? I don't know. Actually, is is first Rebel on first actions team? I, let me quickly check that out, real quick, real quick. Uh, where's it at? Where's first actions team? Here we go. First action. They need one more player. First action. Maybe Rebel's not on their team? I guess not. Rebel might be a different player. But we are going to start shortly. We are just waiting on the rest of the players to join. Right now it is a 4v4 first action versus Sky. We just need two more people. Two more people and we could begin. It's actually the first game that they will be playing. So if you take a look at the page, they're going to be playing a team battle on Scramble. And that will be game number one. First action versus Sky Gaming for the quarterfinals. Actually, is this the quarterfinals? I know, this is RO16 because uh, they haven't moved up yet. Yeah, this is still RO16. They're playing for the quarterfinals, however. Whoever wins this will be moving up to the quarterfinals. Oh, you were in First Nation. Ah, okay, Rebel. I see, I see. All right, we only need one more player. First Action has their full team. Sky Gaming just waiting on one player on their team, and we will begin our broadcast. We will begin our match. How could you win? So if we are doing a giveaway, pretty much it is just a random name selection. Uh, pretty much it's, it's just taking a look at the viewer list and seeing who is here. Uh, I do do the hashtag to make sure you do uh, actually stay in the chat. Uh, you don't need to type in the hashtag, technically. Uh, that's why I said it doesn't matter how many times you type in the hashtag, because it doesn't really matter. It doesn't increase your chance of winning at all. Uh, but, yeah, usually it's a viewer list uh, giveaway for credits. And what we do is we just randomly select uh, a name with a random name picker. And that is how uh, the winners are selected. How could you win? You just, you luckily get selected. I don't pick... Just a random name selection with a random name picker. So it's like random. What do you get as the winner? So for the winners of these cups, at least for the weekly cups right now, the weekly cup winners get 100 euros. Second place winners get 50 euros. Now for the monthly finals, the monthly finals are... are Completely different, especially for this one coming up right here. Go for MC5 monthly final prize pool increased. Look at this. The prize pool has increased for the monthly final for 3,000 euros, guys. 3,000 euros for a mobile game. Believe it or not, that is pretty insane. 
3,000 euros for Modern Combat 5. Anyways, we're actually getting into the gameplay right now, so let's quickly switch over to that and see what happens for Sky versus First. And here we go, we have Sky kind of pushing to the back, we have some first action players doing the same as well. Sky Knight picking up a headshot on Limited, and there's still a few more snipers in the back, I don't know if he wants to be peeking there, and he does get sniped by Rio. Rio just peeking over, trying to pick up these kills right here. Has one kill so far, he knows there's a few more players on the back, I don't think he has informed his teammates yet, he sees them throwing grenades, all that kind of stuff. He's just going to be keep on aiming across. Trying to find a pick, trying to find one player, and maybe he will be able to do it. We do have first action coming from the back. Tan picking up a kill, picking up two kills actually, and he only, uh, he actually pretty much pressured the other team to the corner right here. Dream is stuck right here. Will he be able to pick up another kill before he gets taken out? No, he gets knifed by Rio. Rio survives that right there. Tan pushing in right here. All the Sky members are stuck in the aircraft carrier. It's starting to back off right here. Limited throwing some grenades. Uh, we have Sky throwing some grenades at the entrance as well. Try and get some kills that way. Tan picking up one kill right there. Getting all his kill streaks. We have EMP, turret, recon ready to go. He is using the American Patriot. So it does give him the benefit of getting all his kill streaks with only one kill. And he's pushing in here right here with Berserk. However, he does get taken out by Knife's grenade. Knife surviving that with very critical HP. However, that was a good lucky grenade throw by him. Tell. And a few other the players staying on the side, pretty much just making sure uh, no one's really pushing, no one's being cheeky. Tell looks like he knows there's someone back there, but his teammate was able to take him out in time. Instead, he's just going to be aiming into the bunker, free firing in on Dream, and Dream gets taken out. Guy currently having a lot of pressure on them, first action, just continuously getting kills, and we don't really see too many kills getting uh, taken by Sky. Sky is being a bit more defensive. Well, first action is playing a bit more aggressive and just like finding these angles on a uh, on first uh, on Sky game. Get Rio right here. He, as you see, he's just taking different angles, just peeking into the bunker where uh, where we see Sky gaming just peeking out, and that's why he's getting so many kills. He finally gets taken out by QAQ right there. Knife spotting one more player as well. Does a pretty significant amount of damage, however, not able to get the kill. Tan spotting one more player starts to pre-fire. Not able to get him, however, before he runs behind the wall. Still have a lot of these Sky players staying in this aircraft carrier. They need to do something sometime soon. It's making them a bit too predictable, I think. Uh, just staying in this one spot, and we do have first action slowly closing them in. We have first action players on the front. We have first action members in the back. We have a bomber deployed by Sky. So let's see how this works out. We're going to see first action is going to have to be forced to brush in. And uh, will this work out to their advantage? Will they still be able to get the kill? Rio has the suppressor on. I don't think this person realized he's in here. And Sky401 was taken out. And Rio is able to survive from the bomber. If you're wondering how Sky was able to get that bomber, they actually had a bounty hunter on their team. And because they were dropping so many guns, as their team was dropping so many guns when they were dying, bounty hunter could just keep on getting diamond dust from the floor. And he was able to save up for a bomber. And throw some pressure grenades over the wall right there, hoping to get some kills. Not able to find anyone. Oh, finding actually Sky doing a good amount of damage, but Sky is able to recover. Sky deciding to rush in. Not the smartest of moves as he is taken out. Knife. Only one left on his team alive right now as his team just got wiped out. They need to be careful about the spawn place right here, however. This is a very, very easy place to get spawn trapped in, especially if first action comes. And uh, just controls the entrance right here. Rattel, he knows there's a guy to his right going in for the kill. Gets the kill on Knife. Knife knew he was there as well. But I was kind of surprised Knife didn't start pre firing in on him. First action, looks like they are starting to get control. Just keeping these Sky members inside of this small little area. Sky having a lot of pressure on them. We have one of the players switching to the Com 4 Dream pushing in. Hoping to get some kills. He spots one player right there, but he gets sniped as soon as he peeks out. Tell pre-firing. Trying to keep some more pressure on him. Trying to keep him from pushing up. They have one player who moved it up, but it doesn't work out. Doesn't matter that he's behind the wall. We had one of the first action players snipe him. 
to a Q, trying to push off a bit rabbit going into the snipe. Right here, this is what I was talking about, the spawn trap right here, my first action is just really intense, and it looks like this will be the game, that will be it, first action taking the first victory against Sky Gaming for game number one, 19 to 50. Alrighty, let's quickly switch back here. A hey. some people, I don't know. This is a, this is a completely off topic from the tournament. Some people they don't like me typing. Is that the case, guys? If that, if that is true, I will try to uh, customize my. Uh, Customize my my setup a bit more, especially before the finals coming up this week. Uh, so if we do have a, uh, if we do have, uh, some people saying that they don't want to hear the keyboard in the background, especially when I'm typing, uh, feel free to let me know. If it doesn't bother you at all, uh, let me know that as well. Because I know some people were saying the keyboard thing is kind of unprofessional. The thing is, I have to edit all the stuff myself. It's not like I have a preset overlay. I technically do have a preset overlay. It's not like super preset. So for example, I have uh, I have this right here. This is the uh, this is the main overlay right here. It just looks like this. Then I add the cup title, and then I add the I add the the teams, the team photos. So like the first photo and the second photo. And I gotta add and change the team names. So whenever the team changes, I actually have to change the team names myself. So uh, sometimes when I'm typing, I'm typing to the admins for the ESL so I can get into the next match. Other times it's so I could edit the the, uh, the team name. So like, edit. You see, I gotta I gotta do this myself. I wish I had like a button I could just push and it would put the names right there automatically. That'd be fantastic. It'd make my life so much easier. But uh, that is not the case. The struggle, first world problems. All right, let me get back into some of the comments as well. As also, let's take a look at the brackets, see if uh, we're moving up to the the uh, quarterfinals. How many teams do we have here so far? We have quite a few. I'll quickly switch over, show you guys what's up with that right now. So as you see right here, we do have Matrix versus Blue Fire. We just did. See, wait, wait, we we just saw that matchup. Yeah, we did see this matchup. We saw Matrix versus Blue Fire. So they haven't put in the results just yet. For that, so we are going to be waiting on them to move up. So they're moving up to the semifinals. Yeah, they're moving up to the semifinals already. Wow, interesting. No wait, we saw Blue Fire versus Painkiller X. That's what we saw. We didn't see Matrix versus Blue Fire. We saw Dark Fantasy versus Matrix. Or am I getting confused now? I'm gonna. I'm thinking I'm getting confused. I, I don't know if we saw this one just yet. Easy Clan versus uh, Titanium Black Empire Drive. This is all RO16. Pretty much. Four finals, we do have EMP, OXL second, Drive, Easy Clan. I don't think we saw this one. I think I'm just going crazy. We, I'm pretty sure we haven't seen this one. Let's see. Construction site streets. I'm pretty sure we haven't seen that one. All right. Yeah, it was just me being crazy. Uh, I think it was Dark Fantasy. I don't, or maybe we didn't see Dark Fantasy. I'm just a bit confused right now. I confuse myself. That's what you get for having short term memory, you know. GG me. Matrix is playing final will be Matrix versus first for sure. Ooh, that would be kind of interesting to see. However, we don't know if uh, any of the other teams will be playing just yet. We don't know if Matrix will get taken out at all. Because we still do have the semifinals. And uh, I believe, I believe Matrix versus First Action won't happen until the semifinals. If you take a look at this bracket right here, even if First Action moves ahead and moves ahead two times, and Matrix moves ahead, they're gonna be playing in the semifinals. So the finals won't be Matrix versus First Action. The make the finals will be First Action or Matrix versus one of these other teams, maybe Drive 
or OXL second. Maybe ES, uh, maybe Easy Clan is going to do better and take out Drive, or maybe EMP is going to take out OXL second. We don't know the results just yet, but there is no way that there's going to be first action versus Matrix final. I know a lot of people would want to see that, but uh, that's not going to be what happens for today. Glaceon, you don't have to keep on posting that thing. I've said it already. The thing about like crafting mod kits together. I was the one who suggested it before you even posted that, I believe. But yes, I do think that's a good idea if they had a system where you could just uh, turn basic mod kits into improved ones. Uh, it would make everything so much easier. Like, every everything so much easier. I would love to craft my basic mod kits, which I have so many of them, into uh, improved ones. But I don't know if they're going to do something like that. I wish, but we don't know. Uh, hacks or where is the next giveaway going to be at? Our next giveaway is actually going to be on our Twitch page. Once we have our quarterfinal bracket filled up, we will be doing a giveaway on our Twitch page, guys. If you guys don't know what our Twitch page is, twitch.tv slash modern underscore combat five. Axer, can you put your dog tag for Android on Twitter? Did I not do it already? I thought I'd put my dog tag there. Huh, that's strange. I can quickly try to get it right now, but then I have to, I have to quickly check one thing. I'd have to turn on my Android device and do lots of stuff. You know what, just for you guys, I'll, I'll do it right now. I'll do it right now, it's gonna take a few seconds. Because I have to push a lot of buttons on my monitor, it sucks. Alright, where is this at? Here we go, starting up my Android device right now. You guys want my dog tag actually, let me quickly show you right now. This is my dog tag for iOS at the moment. If you have Android and you wanna add me, don't worry, I'm gonna get that dog tag real soon. Here we go, that is my dog tag for iOS. If you guys wanna add me, if you guys wanna add me, don't add me, add me. Send me a message, I don't get friend requests for some reason. Uh, however, I do actually get uh, I do actually get um, people sending me messages. So if you send me a message, I will add you, and then I'll. Uh, that's pretty much it. Because I can't add you myself, or no, you can't add me yourself, but you can send me a message. But I could add you. So do it that like that. All right, give me a second. I'm gonna get my Android. Apparently my shield just updated. What did it update to? A lot of stuff. Alright, no worries. I'm not going to install your update right now, shield. You might actually hear this. The, the, the small little, like, talking sounds is the shield in the background. Give me a second, I gotta launch this. I gotta launch this, here we go. Loading weapon data. I currently can't see the chat, however. That's the one downside to, uh... That's the one downside. You must update to the latest version of the game to continue playing. Are you kidding me? Modern Combat. Well, I guess I can't get my Android dog tag right now because I'm not, I'm not going to update it. Ripperoni. Sucks. I'm sorry. I'll have to update it a bit later, guys. I do apologize for people who wanted to add my uh, Android dog tag. Also, that small little clunk was me putting down my controller. Because I, I have a Shield TV. That's how I... Uh, I can, I can show you right now, to be honest. Let's see, let's see. Let's quickly go to my camera. Camera, camera, where's the camera at? Here we go, this is pretty much my setup right now. This is my shield, and I got the controller, and the shield, and the mic. I gotta switch back to uh, my stream, because, yeah. This is why I don't like switching, I have to, I have to Individually changed my monitor settings. That's really annoying. I just screw that up. Whoops uh, Go down Yeah, it sucks doing this so much. I don't really do it this often. That's why I don't use my Android device that much Here we go. Now we're back in business I'll switch back to here if you guys wanted my dog tag still hopefully I didn't disconnect never mind I did and let's see if we got into a different match
All right. Looks like we did not get the password for the next match just yet. Oh, we got some people adding me. Hey, got some messages already. Feel free. Add everyone right here. I can't just give people credits. If I can give everyone credits, I would give everyone credits, but I, I can't do that. Uh, I'll just add everyone that sends me a message. Here we go. Hey, I already have him added. Let's add him too. Right, let's add this guy, I think. Maybe I have VIP doc. Alright, let me quickly open this for a few more moments until we actually do get into the next tournament match, guys. If you want to add me, there you go. I need those credits. I need to have a family to feed. Oh, true? Whoa. Fix the glitch. I had many more people where they went from Platinum League to Bronze League. Did they go from Platinum League to Bronze League when they were making the change? They made a change to uh to the league system a while ago, maybe like two or three updates ago. Uh, if if they went from if it was like back then, I would understand why they changed. Uh, if it was before, if it was before, uh, if it was like recently, or if it was recently, then it's probably a glitch. With my Android dog tag. Don't know, because my Android device is not updating, sadly. Or I have to update my uh, my app. Wow, hacks for new gen. Long code means new gen. What you mean? Do you know what Joker's dog tag is? Joker's dog tag is longer than yours, man. Maybe you're the new gen. Shots fired. Maybe only OG's got the, the OP long dog tags like this. Because look, let's go find Joker's dog tag right now. If you guys want to harass Joker, JK, don't do it. Where's that? I have it somewhere on this list. Oh my god, I have these players that don't play anymore. Look at all these old SXC things. Oh my gosh, so many SXC stuff. Uh, where's Joker though? Is he still here on my list? Let's see. Where is this at? I don't know if I have Joker on my list. I probably scrolled past him. He probably has a fake name. This is my second account right here. Usual territory. I, I don't see Joker for some reason. Huh. Surprise. I did have his dog tag before. But, uh... Not anymore. Ripperoni. I believe this is one of his accounts. SXC champ. But it's a... Oh, actually, no, that's not his champ. It's not his account, because it's a... That's in a King squad right now, which is kind of surprising. Alright. Interesting. Interesting. I, I had Joker on this list. It's just I have so many friends right now, I, just, I can't see them all. So, Ripperoni. Is this my iOS dog tag? Yes, this is my iOS dog tag. Do you actually have Joker's dog tag? He didn't delete me, Noah. I still have him. Did you see Joker on that list? Let's see. Let's scroll one more time. Oh, Darp, I'm blind as heck. There's Joker. Yeah, you're right. Uh, does it show? It doesn't show the dog tag though. You squad. Wait, there it is. There's Joker's dog tag. All right. Look, you see, Joker has a kind of long dog tag as well. One six six C three. Unless you don't think that's, unless you think that's the. I don't know. It's that's pretty long to be honest. Some people have a theory that long dog tags are people who played uh, less time, or people who are newer to the game. And short dog tags are people who played a uh, shorter time. The thing is, Joker and I, we played the game like day one. Not even even before day one. There was a there was like a week before uh before it actually was supposed to officially launch and it got leaked to everyone, pretty much, more mostly everyone. And Joker and I had the game when it got leaked to everyone. 
So we were playing the game before it was actually uh, re launched. I don't know, that might be the reason why the dog tags are like that. What's Joker's KD? 2.48. I don't think it's, uh, it's pretty decent, to be honest. Like, the thing is, Joker doesn't play too many ranked matches. Uh, I don't play too many, actually, I, when I did play a lot of ranked matches, uh, actually, yeah, when I did play a lot of ranked matches, it was usually for, uh, for, like, uh, what is it, squad battles and stuff, so my KD is a bit lower. You might be like, oh, my, my KD is better than Joker's, but the thing is, Joker and I, my kitty's not very good either. Like, if you take a look right here, it's only 2.4. The thing is, Joker and I, we were playing tons and tons of squad battles when the game was super competitive, right? So if I go to the squad league right here, and I go to over here, and I scroll down to 2000, SXC Inc. is somewhere on this list. I passed it. When when there was when the game was super competitive, at least for squad battles, we were playing against these super competitive teams, and uh, that is one of the reasons why the KD isn't as high. Like if I was just pub stomping for days, I could be like DN Sheriff. If you guys don't know DN Sheriff? He has like a seven KD. But the thing is, he doesn't play squad battles, and if he does play squad battles, he plays squad battles on like a second account. But like, we we played a ton of games on uh on SXC Inc. And a lot of other squad games as well. So 2.4 KD, pretty decent for that, to be honest, personally. Alright, I don't know what's happening with this tournament match right here. I could technically just start a, uh... I could just start a custom game, which I'll probably do, since for some reason... For some reason, uh, we're not getting a password for the the second game for first action. Oh my gosh, they're not getting anything. All right, we're gonna host a custom game because still having no passwords. Don't know exactly why. Uh, let's actually quickly change some of our stuff up. Let's see our, our loadout right now. Um, I actually want to see how much they nerfed the stacker. And I know they lowered the accuracy a bit. We're going to see, however. Uh, we're going to go non-ranked. We're not going to do a... Uh, we're not going to do free-for-all because there's going to be recon players everywhere. We're going to go capture the flag on on the streets. And we're going to turn fast phone off. Fast is going to be ESL123 if you guys want to join this. Guys, keep in mind, we will actually have a Twitch giveaway as well soon. Right now, we are just waiting on the uh, the brackets to update. Once we have all the teams in the quarterfinals, we're going to start the Twitch giveaway. Then the next one will be Mob Crush, and the finals will be YouTube. So as you see right here, uh, we have quarter. We only have one more team needing to move up, I believe. Only one more team needing to move up. Sky versus First Action. Uh, and once they move up, we will start the first giveaway. Or Twitch, or the, the giveaway for Twitch. Also keep in mind guys, a custom game won't take priority. Uh, pretty much if there's a tournament game that has started, or that is going to start, I will leave a custom game just to join the tournament game, because tournament games are a bit more important broadcast and me playing I, I know you guys want to see my my OP skills JK but like uh yeah tournament matches take priority over me actually just playing oh look it's Sebastian aka my name Axer aka Sebastian I'm also on the Facebook community group if you guys are there for modern combat 5 All right, 5v5, that's, uh, that's decent. We could start that. Here we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. We got the troll back in the chat, our YouTube chat. Text the troll. He was trolling all of last stream as well. 
I hope MCB is not pay to win. I do agree with that. They apparently nerfed the re- What is this right here? What is this right here, man? I can notice- I can notice the fire rate. I can notice the fire rate is slower, but apparently they nerfed the accuracy. GG. This is not nerfed accuracy. I don't know what they're talking about. And then again, I also have a suppressor. We're gonna have to see how this works out. Oh, I didn't want to jump down. Oops. Oh, there's two here. Those, those are recons. Those are recons. Those are not teammates. I'm gonna push in and go for the recons around this corner. Oh, I gotta reload. Good thing we the reload is like instant, right? And there's so many people right there. Your game won't load. Aw. Try like restarting it or something. I don't know. What is a bot? Uh, so pretty much those bots in the SXC Inc. Uh, squad. Pretty much they just stop players from getting invites. So if you guys don't know, there's like squad downing. If you don't know what squad downing is, um, there's a troll who invites players and invites as many players as possible to your squad. And then they just keep on making that one squad lose points, right? And it's really annoying because you have a, you have a squad. They work really hard to get their points. Then you have this one troll who joins it and makes you lose a lot of points. Uh, pretty much what the bot does is it fills up the squad, so there's no spaces for those trolls to join if there is, uh, if any of them did have an invite. Also, apparently, well, okay, never mind. That was weird. I wasn't getting any hit markers at all. Also, right now we're not doing the hottest. And our flag is gone, and they're gonna capture it. So maybe they did nerf this a lot, because I'm not doing. I'm not actually hitting too many shots at all. This thing right here. I'm not getting any hit markers either. I'm kind of surprised. Oh, it's a teammate. I thought it was like a recon that just appeared in front of me. There's two people gonna be coming this way. Oh, never mind. I'm gonna do this. I'll do it this way. Throw the icy grenade, slow them down a bit, and rush around. There's a guy next to me! Oh no, he was to my right! He was to my right, I didn't realize that, however. I hope MC Versus has better maps. I hope MC Versus is just good, in general. And I hope it has more maps than at least this game. Like, this game only released with four maps. Four maps, guys, that's, that's kinda... that's kinda sad, in my personal opinion. Like, you might think four maps is so many, but like... If you guys ever played older modern combat games, if you've played Modern Combat 4, Modern Combat 3, pretty much both of those games were released with more maps than this game had when the game launched. I think it still has more, I think both Modern Combat 4 and Modern Combat 3 both still have more maps in total. Okay, so this gun is a bit weaker now. It does have a lot less range. It's not as, like, crazy OP. So I'm kind of surprised they, they actually balance this thing out a bit more. Before this thing was just crazy. It seems it seems a bit better now. It seems actually a lot better now. I'm dead. EMP strike deployed. They haven't gotten a flag though yet. The thing is it's captured the flag so it doesn't really matter what they do with kill wise. They just need to get the flag. As long as we hold them off, we're good. Got one on Rebel. I only have but you see how I, I hit a lot of shots on Rebel, right? But I only got two stacks. You're supposed to get a stack for hit marker you get, I believe. Enemy However, I don't know exactly, uh... I don't know, I'm, I'm not getting a lot of hit markers. Oh yeah, they did reduce the ammo so much, though. They used to be at like 40. If MC Versus is made by the old MC the team, I'll probably love it. I believe it is, actually. Uh, it's being made by Gameloft Montreal, who made Modern Combat 3 and Modern Combat 4. Um, and then there was like a tweet that the developer of MC, or the uh, the project manager of MC4 posted. If you guys don't know what the guy's name is, it's Alex Charb, aka Charb Tech. He's pretty much, he, he's a project manager for Modern Combat, and pretty much his name is now in a lot of guns for Modern Combat guns. So like Charb Tech. Uh, I believe that's why it's called Charb Tech, because the guy's name is Alex Charb. And that's the project manager. But yeah, he's the one who worked on MC4 and MC3. And uh, recently, he not recently, it was like a few months ago, he tweeted out, we are back to, uh, we're back working on what we do best, which I believe is uh, modern combat games. We're going to have to see how everything works out. The Where did that come from? The range! The range of that concussion grenade, that went flying. 
Holy heck. Holy heck, that went flying. I have no clue what just happened right there. There's probably a new guy coming out. No, there was a guy as soon as I stopped shooting. Alright, thanks, game. One kill. Doesn't matter, I get killed by the West. We're gonna try a few other guns, see how uh, how they balance stuff out. We have the, uh... Oh, I removed the, the prototype. Let's also try the... Uh, not the dread eye. Let's try the, uh... Try the shotgun. See what's up with this. They increase the mobility. Or feel like they increase the mobility. I hope they didn't think I'm newbie. Oh, 10% left. He was very close to dying. They were very, very close. The thing is, the range for this isn't the best. Also, my aim wasn't completely centered. Concussion grenade. That's not a concussion. That's an impact. Why do I have impacts on this? Axer, please. Get out of here. Get out of here. Try and go around a corner when I have a shotgun. Let's see if I find one more kill like this. Oh, that's a nade. Oh, get out of here. Oh, I'm just gonna be a troll like this. Oh, there's one right here! Oh, wait, what? My team! There was a guy next to me. There was a guy next to me. No, Nova was actually... Nova was made by the same people who made Modern Combat 5. No joke, Nova was made by the people who made Modern Combat 5. No, well, not, not the same exact people, but it was made by the same uh, branch of Gameloft. Gameloft Romania. But yeah, they get... The, the team, or the branch that made Modern Combat uh, 5... Made Nova 4. I don't know how, but like... Or Nova 3. Or, that's what I meant. Not Nova 4. Nova 4 is not out yet. Alright. More, more campy tactics right here. We're just gonna wait on this. Oh, he knew! He knew! Oh, we maybe didn't know. Sun death. All right, we're gonna wrap the full noob city right here. Pull out the com four like a pro player would do, like any pro player. JK, I'm, I'm not gonna do that. Uh, we're gonna. I'm gonna help my teammate out of here. I gotta be careful. I know there's a lot of them in the back. Oh, there's also a lot of them on the side. So I'm gonna go for the kills over, uh... Oh, he was behind me! Oh, no. Ah, uh, I, I, went, I went neutral, though. That's good. I didn't go negative. Good job. Good job, me. Good job. I was using the heavy. Heavy OP. I know they made some changes to the weapons. Uh, I know they balanced out the stacker. The stacker feels ton, ton more balanced now. Uh, let's actually go quickly take a look at the uh, the changes. I posted on Facebook like two days ago. Modern combat. I gotta go search that up right now. Where is this at? Where is this at? Let's see what changes have they made so far. I want to switch to this page, but then you're gonna see my Facebook name. Do I, do I even care that you see my Facebook name? Not not necessarily. Because a lot of people already knew who I am. Uh, where is it at? Scroll. Facebook page. Why aren't you loading? Here we go. The, the changes. Let me uh, let me open this in a different tab. Can I actually link this? Here we go. I can just open it up like this. Here we go. Transition over. There's my Facebook. You can see my Facebook exposed for days actually let me actually switch that back because there's too much exposed for days i actually got to switch some things we're gonna put this in uh view this as this because i don't want you to see some of my stuff you know personal info acts are exposed here we go here we go that's that's a bit more reasonable all right so we have a uh, Stacker, uh, so reduced clip size, reduced accuracy, reduced rate of fire. So I already felt the difference of that. I don't know about the accuracy. I felt more so the the clip size, and it felt like there was less range. Increased buff duration. Uh, I didn't really feel that because I wasn't I wasn't getting hit markers for some reason. So maybe it was because reduced accuracy. We'll see. Enforcer. 
Uh, increased hip fire accuracy, uh, inc decreased rate of fire, so that's the assault rifle. Decreased damage, so lower damage with the enforcer. To be honest, the enforcer was kind of kind of balanced compared to some of the. Uh, it wasn't it wasn't too bad, especially with the accuracy it had. Uh, so judgment, increased rate of fire, three more bullets. I think it needed three more bullets because it was kind of it, it was kind of underpowered with what it had. Uh, then we have. Then we have uh, right here. Firecracker, increased explosive damage. Double the explosive radius. Oh, that's going to be kind of interesting. They didn't even nerf it at all. It just increased. It, this thing was really weak before the Firecracker, aka the SMG. Uh, moderate damage increase for the shotgun. The Vare Power, high damage increase. And Dread Eye, decreased charge timer. It pretty much just changes to everything. Alright, looks like we also got finally into a tournament match. That took a while. That took a while, but we should be good to go once again. That might have been an issue with the ESL uh, site, but it looks like we will be back in business shortly. Quickly, uh, Let's quickly make sure everything is good to go. Here we go, password time. Guys, we will do a giveaway. I promise. We were just waiting on first action, but I don't know what was happening there. Did first action actually move up? Let's see. This might be a different team. Looks like first action might have actually moved up in the brackets, so let me take a look at this right here. And if they actually did move up in the brackets, we know what is up, guys. We know that we're going to be starting our Twitch giveaway. And we do have first action in the quarterfinals, so that means we can begin our first Twitch giveaway, or the Twitch giveaway. So all you need to do on our Twitch page is type in hashtag quarter, hashtag quarter on our Twitch page for a chance to win 500 credits for Modern Combat 5, guys. So this is open for anyone on any platform, doesn't matter if you're on Windows, iOS, or Android. All right, we are just waiting on players to join. Once we get the players in the game, we will begin once again with the tournament broadcast. Getting in the first action versus D Nation of Forever. We may also update the stuff on screen because I got to do that, you know, manually. Feels bad, man. No worries, though. I'll do it right now. Here we go. D Nation Forever. Let's see how they play against first action. I always remember this this name, their team name is so long. I'm just gonna call it D Nation Four because it's not gonna fit the entire name. Oh my gosh, I just messed up. There we go. Manually typing, nice. And that is the matchup for right now. We're just waiting on everything to get set up properly. And once we get in, we will begin. We got a lot of people already typing in hashtag quarter on our Twitch page. Guys, if you want to, it's open for anyone. Just type in hashtag quarter on our Twitch page for a chance to win 500 credits from our Modern Combat 5. All you need to do is go to twitch.tv slash modern underscore combat 5. Or if you have the Twitch app, just type in modern underscore combat 5 and you should find our page.
Can someone type in the Twitch name? What Teemo typed right there? At M it's modern underscore combat five. Who was the Twitch winner? We don't have a Twitch winner. We haven't drawn the giveaway. We just started it right now, pretty much. All you need to do is type in hashtag quarter on our Twitch page. This giveaway is going to be open for two games, guys. Two games, two tournament matches that we will see. We have a lot of players in. We have all of D Nation. Now we just are waiting on two players, one player for first action, and we will begin. I believe this is the first game they're playing. It's a construction site team battle. So this will be the first game between these two teams. Come on, first action. We're waiting on your one player. Once we get the one player in, we'll begin. I do apologize for the delay, guys. I know you guys don't like the delays, but I can't do anything about it. I have no control over this. And here we go, Team Battle Construction Site. We are loading into the match. Right now. Psych, Sean, you wish you won. All right, here we go. We are getting to the gameplay right now, starting in one second. And let us begin this broadcast. We have first action on the blue side. We have D Nation on red. Right away, we have some first action free fire going on. Rab is going around the corner right here, going in for the kill. Gets a kill on air. Oh my gosh, I can't read these names. Tarek Neck. Oh my gosh, butchers, butchers for days. Oh, I can't read. We have Rio right here in the back using the recon class. I don't know what he's waiting there for. Probably waiting on a gun to pick up. Rabbit's spying a few kill uh, spying a few players over there, but he does quickly get taken out by the Bramson. Frosty looking around for some kills. Or Frosty looking around for some kills. No, I think he knows there's someone around this corner, but didn't realize there was a grenade right above him. He gets quickly taken out. Right now, first action does take the lead. Just with continuous con concussion grenades and some light picks with the snipers and a few of their other guns. Frosty looking up in the sky trying to find the recon aircraft trying to take it down real quick but while he's doing that he does get killed limited right here with the sniper trying to find some kills right here looking around did spot one I don't think he actually oh, did he spot him he did spot him but uh, probably probably not for long enough um, limited is usually really really good at sniping in these cups you usually see him using the sniper as his main class and he'll just be playing for picks, he'll be staying back, he won't really be rushing in uh, that often. He'll wait for the other team to push in on him, usually his main tactic, and it works out relatively decently. He saw one player right there, but it was a bit too late, his teammate got the kill first. He saw another player right there, he needs to be careful. If I was him, I might have just hard scope. but instead he throws a concussion grenade, and he is able to pick up the kill right there. Poseidon pushing in, however there are two players behind him, he gets taken out, limited, just continues to aim, spots one player, Gets the headshot. Was that someone right away with the uh, with the armor? Oh my gosh! Is that really what I just saw? I think I just saw the uh, Oni armor real quick. I don't know if that was real or not, or if I'm just blind. It could have been something else, but it looked like the Oni armor. That was actually would have been the first time I saw it. Take a look again. What armor does this guy have on right here? Biden pushing in right here. Getting a kill. Player to his left. See, the player in, is all the way in the back to his left. However, that's no worries for him. It's not really an immediate threat. Pushes in, picks up a kill on Katan. We do see that D Nation Forever has been picking up a few more kills recently. Uh, they weren't doing too hot at the beginning, but uh, they're doing a bit better right now. Now, let's keep on, keep on switching around. Let's see if one of them actually does have the only armor. I was kind of surprised that uh, I think I did see this guy. Does Katan actually have the Oni armor? No, oh, that, that's toxic armor. That's hazard. I swore I saw it. I could be blind. Anyways, let's get on back to the gameplay. Limited in the back. 
spotting one player right here, missing a quick scope. He knows he's around this corner, he needs to be careful. There's a grenade getting thrown at him. He does take some damage, and he's gonna be going for the snipe, but he's not able to be accurate enough. This one person is just peeking out a bit too quickly for him. And he does escape in time Poseidon. Going around, picks up a KOG. He may pick up the kill right there, saving him. Poseidon just waiting on a good time to push in, trying to find a good location to push in as well. They need to find these uh, these first action players. They don't have any recons or anything. Uh, so it's a bit more difficult for them to, to secure their kills. Uh, we have Frosty right there picking up a nice kill while his Berserk was active, while his extra damage was active. And I think, I think it might be Frosty. Look at this, look at his HP right now, 115% HP. I think we might have Frosty using the Oni armor, which is kind of surprising. I've never seen, I don't know what it actually does, so it's pretty much a mini Paragon. So, so I didn't know it gave an HP bonus, I thought it was just armor resistance. Doesn't matter that he has armor resistance or extra HP, he gets melted extremely quick and he gets taken down right there. Frosty in the back, trying to get some kills right here. There's someone trying to push up. Frosty is able to take out Rio, limited in the back as well. Goes in for the knife kill, picks up the kill on Poseidon. Poseidon very unlucky right there. He was able to damage Limited, but not able to get the kill. But Limited is taken out while he is knifing. And look at that, that is the only armor we do see for one of the D-Nation Forever players. He's not taking out the recon aircraft that does help them survive for a bit longer because it does make it so first action doesn't know where they are. You can be staying in the back. However, he gets quick scoped immediately by Limited. Limited just continues to push in right here. He knows where a lot of these players are. He can continue to push in. He just ran right past, past the player. I think he realized he's there. I don't think they realized he's there. What was that right there? They just ran past each other. But it doesn't matter. The game is over. We will see first action taking out D-Nation forever. 50 to 28 for game number one. Good game. Alrighty, alrighty, we did just see the first game right there, D-Nation forever, D-Nation actually having the Oni armor right away, I'm surprised, that was the first time I actually saw someone using that armor, I, that was actually the first time me seeing what that armor did, it gives you 15% extra HP, including the resistances uh, for bullet resistance, so that's, that's kind of cool to see uh, how that worked out, uh, but it didn't really help them out too much, uh, and first action was able to take the victory. Guys on Twitch, we are still doing a giveaway right now. All you need to do is type in hashtag quarter into our chat for a chance to win 500 credits. All you need to do is type in hashtag quarter on our Twitch page. We're gonna wait one more. Uh, we're gonna wait one more game, one more tournament game. All right, let's also take a look at the chats. What have people been saying right here? Let me unpin the comment real quick on the Facebook page. Let me actually also pin this right here on our Facebook page. Uh, this is what we're giving away credits on right now. People at Facebook give away on Twitch right now. I'll say credit giveaway on Twitch. Make it a bit better. Hey, and I'll post a comment on our Facebook just so everyone has the link. Up in the comment right there. All you need to do is go type in hashtag quarter on our Twitch page. Wolf does have more HP. However, the thing is, Wolf has a lot less armor. Uh, the Oni armor gives you a lot less, a lot more bullet resistance and all that kind of stuff. But Wolf, uh, it does give you more HP, so it, you have to kind of decide which one's a bit more important. The, the resistance 
or the health. Personally, I think the I think the werewolf might be a bit better. I think werewolf has like slightly faster relo uh, not reload speed. Um, what is it? Re regenerating speed. I think it has like twenty five percent faster speed for health regen. But I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure that's what the perk does. Did you win yet, Haxer? No, you did not win, Sean. Stop being a troll. Shake my head. How do I get to Twitch? I'll post the link right now. Here you go, Mr. Legionary. Here we go. That is the link. And looks like we have the next match set up. We are going to be joining that right now, and we'll see how everything works out from there on keep in mind first action is currently in the lead against d nation forever first action takes another victory right now they will be moving ahead in the brackets right now this is the uh this is in the quarterfinals right now and if first action moves up they will be facing matrix in the semifinals let's quick take a look at the brackets as well because there has been some changes to them, the bracket for the Go For Modern Combat 5 Red Cup number 20. As you see right here, uh, we still have first action versus D Nation Forever. We did see Matrix move ahead. So we actually did see Matrix versus Blue Fire before. I was just, I wasn't thinking their short term memory. So, first action, if they move ahead, they'll be facing Matrix. And we also have Drive taking out Easy. Drive versus OXL going on right now. OXL versus Drive. And it looks at this point, at this point in time, it looks like we're going to have almost only Japanese teams for the quarter to the semifinals. It's kind of surprising to see. We're going to have to see how each of these teams played out. They are all good teams, but uh, they might slip up, and that slip up might give another team an advantage over them. We'll have to see how everything turns out throughout the games. Alrighty, alrighty. So you just have to put the hashtag, yes, for our Twitch giveaway. You just need to put the hashtag in our Twitch chat for a chance to win. Also need to be viewing at the time we draw the giveaway, so keep that in mind. Let me just type this right here. Type hashtag quarter on Twitch. Sean, stop trolling. I'm going to mute you. There we go. All right. Hashtag quarter on Twitch, and that's the Twitch link. We're going to see one more game before we actually draw the Twitch giveaway winner. So if you haven't already, head over to our Twitch page. Twitch.tv slash modern underscore combat five the chance to win those five hundred credits. Who's Sean? Sean is a guy on uh, on Mob Crush right now. I had to mute him because he's trolling hardcore right now. We will get into the game very shortly. We are waiting on two more D Nation Forever members. You see right here, we do have most of the players in, but we are still waiting on two. But once we have the rest, we will be good to go. This is why it usually takes a bit too long in intermission. There's a, I have to wait for the next match to get set up first, and I have to wait for players to join the match. And the players joining the match, sometimes it can be really quick, but then sometimes there's issues like this where it takes a while for uh, 
it takes a while for people to join, which is kind of sad. And I, I do apologize if there's huge delays uh, because of stuff like this. But now you know why. It's because players take forever to join. They struggle. Why the heck are there no leagues? It's so boring that the Japanese teams always win because of ping. So shit. Well, it's not... They don't win because of ping. And also, you're saying they host... If they host a match, they're going to have a, J a Japanese server. Yes, they're, they're going to technically win if they host the match. But if the other team hosts the match, the other team should have the advantage. It's not unfair for the Europe teams. There's a data center in the U.S., there's a data center in Asia, and there's a data center in Europe. So if the Europe team hosts it, they should have the advantage. If the Asian team hosts it, they should have the advantage. So if the Europe team can't beat the Asian team when they're on the Europe servers, that's not really the, uh, the Asian team's better ping. That's the fault that the Europe team isn't as good as the, the Asian team. The thing is, First Action has been playing so many cups so far they've been playing for such a long time all these uh, japanese teams they play a ton if you guys don't know that the thing is they they take the game super seriously and they're pretty good at it so we're gonna have to see how uh we're gonna have to see Yeah, I don't think it's ping based. Yeah, if 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 the Asian team hosted on an Asian server, it's ping based. But like, if a Europe team hosts it and an Asian team is playing on the Europe server, then it's not ping based. It's skill based at that point. Uh, play MC5 on PC. They kill us before they walk around the walls. That could just be your ping being bad. Yeah, you might say, okay, their ping's better, but like... If you're not getting, if you're not seeing them come out from behind the walls, because I see them getting these kills, and I, I don't see them behind walls or anything. So, does that mean my ping is better than your ping? I don't know. Anyways, let us get into the gameplay right here. I'll show you what I mean. You'll see, look, they won't get a kill. If, I, if I'm spectating a first action member, you'll see them looking at a player when they get a kill. It's not going to be that the person's behind the wall. Maybe if there's if there's a person be outside of the wall and then they go behind the wall, they'll get a kill still, because uh, that does happen a lot. However, if it's vice versa, you're, you're not going to see it that often. And let us get into the gameplay right here. We have first action on blue. We have D Nation Forever on red team. Well, let's see what happens right here. We have first nation, uh, first action, just rushing at up, pre-firing, trying to get some kills right here. Tan just staying on the top. Has to be kind of careful. There are a lot of players under him. Bertel picking up a kill on Poseidon on the bottom. Still Rusty going in for the kill. Looks like Limited was missing his snipe right there. Also throwing some production grenades around. Picking up a nice kill right there. Getting the player who was camping behind the box. Limited continues in. Tries to keep a different spot in the back part of the mask. Rio pushing up. Getting a nice double kill right there on Frosty and Poseidon. Throws some concussion grenade over the wall. Trying to get a player on the other side. But it doesn't work out. The player comes from under him and gets the kill. Still Rusty going for some leg shots on the player he can see right there. However, the player did move away. I know D-Nation Forever has a bit more control of this uh, middle house. However, first action is a bit more spread apart. And it does help him get more picks like Rio picking up the kill on Trio right there. Frosty picking up a nice double kill with a KOG right Limited. Getting a revenge on these nuts. We have Frosty also getting his EMP strike ready to go. EMP strike deployed. Pushing in. Frosty picking up one. Going in for the second. There are two more there. His teammate is not able to take him out. But uh, they finally get their revenge kill. Rabbit taking out Frosty. Still Rusty pushing up right here. Taking out Rabbit. These nuts taking out Limited. Right now this is a game is a lot closer than the previous one. First action is actually behind. 15 to 16. 
for its action, throwing some concussion grenades into highly populated areas. The nation has to be careful about these concussion grenades, though. Be careful about people rushing into these entrances and the people on the top, that kind of stuff. Rusty pushing up, but Katan was able to get him while he was reloading. But Katan also picks up the KOG. Katan spotting these nuts and securing the kill. Deciding to take a different location right here. We have a lot of the D Nation Forever members spawning in the back part of the map. Still Rusty going around the corner right here. He was able to get an assist for his teammate, these nuts, who did get the kill with the Malstorm. They need to be kind of careful about this situation right here. They might actually start falling behind. They did have the lead at the initial part of the game. However, they started uh, they started getting a few more kills to first action. They still do have the lead at the moment, but first action just continues to tie up the game. Uh, kill after kill, Trotsky picking up a kill on Katan, Rabbit in revenge picking up a kill on Rusty, and there you go, that's what I mean, it's, it's, it's trade kills for days, first action, finally taking the lead, only by one point however, still Rusty, uh, not having enough diamond dust to get too many kill streaks. he does have enough for to get a, a, a recon aircraft, he's not going to use it just yet, he's going to be pushing in for the kill right here, gets the kill on Katan, and he knows there's going to be a few more people around this corner, they do have a recon active at the moment, he decides to actually back up, and we have Rio going around. Rio spotting one player on the bottom right here. Is he able to get the kill? However, no, he gets taken out, but he is able to, ooh, not able to get an assist. Poseidon getting a nice double kill with the boss. That does help keep the Nation Forever in the lead. Tan picking up the trio right there. Broski getting it. Rattel. First action just continues to get kills. Katan pushing in with Berserk. Getting a huge amount of damage down. Securing this small little middle building and it does put them in the lead. He also has a drone available Let's See what happens right here free fires around the corner goes in for the kill picks up one knows There's one more on the corner tries to get the second not able to secure it However, still rusty There's a player above him. There's a few players behind him as well He needs to be careful about the entrances right here and how they're gonna push There is a recon active by first action at the moment. I don't think they realized he was there Still rusty pushing in getting a nice double kill with the PR 39, but he gets sniped in the back Still very close game, still anyone's game. First action still in the lead, however. 43 to 40. Both teams still have a chance of actually taking the lead right here. Poseidon pushing in, taking the kill on Rabbit. Katan is able to get the revenge kill. Rio going in for the kill, securing the kill on these nuts, saving his teammate. Rio knowing there's a few more people around the corner, just free firing with the KOG, picking up kills left and right. Bomber deployed. And it looks like this might actually be it right here, unless we see D Nation pick up a nice five man feed. First action only needs one more kill left, and I believe they also just deployed a bomber, and it looks like that will be the game. First action will take the victory against D Nation, 50 to 45. Alrighty, guys, if you haven't already, if you haven't already, head over to our Twitch page twitch.tv slash modern underscore combat 5 for a chance to win 500 credits for modern combat all you need to do is type in hashtag quarter on our twitch page twitch.tv slash modern underscore combat 5 for a chance to win you just need to type in hashtag quarter we will be drawing a winner very very shortly as well Thirty seconds for the Twitch giveaway, guys. If you haven't already, your final chance to enter. Your final chance. Why didn't you get them, Atlas? You didn't get your credits either. Hmm. So he finally has started sending out credits to everyone. So that is a good thing. Yes. Uh, however, he's been missing some people. If you haven't gotten your credits and you have one, uh, please do send me a message on my Twitter. Uh, if you don't know what my Twitter is, it's at Mr. OMG WTF Hacks, or, or you could just send me a message in Modern Combat 5. That's a bit more annoying, however. I'm, I'm, I'm a lot better with you sending it to me on, on Twitter. Uh, just send me a message on my Twitter page if you haven't gotten your credits and you did win. I know he's sending out credits now. Uh, there's a few people, especially from last week, who sent me screenshots saying thank you for the credits because uh, they finally got their stuff. Which is kind of strange. The people from last week got the credits, but then the people from weeks ago 
didn't get it. So he might have just not gone too far back in the chat and gotten the logs for the uh, the people who won. So yeah, if you haven't gotten your uh, your credits yet, send me a message on Twitter. I'll put my Twitter on the Twitch page. And we will be doing the drawing very shortly, guys. If you haven't already, you got a few seconds, a few seconds before we do the final drawing for Twitch. Twitch giveaway time. Game is not cross-platform, so if you are on iOS, you can only play with iOS players. You cannot play with Android. You cannot play with Windows. The only thing that's technically cross-platform is I believe Windows can play with uh, Windows can play with Windows Phone and Xbox. I think. I believe so. I'm not entirely sure, however. Alrighty, here we go. Twitch giveaway time, guys. Are you ready? We are gonna have the winner very, very shortly. Also, we have a tournament match already set up. It's gonna be first action versus Matrix. Take a look at the brackets, see what is up, what teams have moved ahead, and what these uh, final brackets are looking like. Oh gosh, so much white and red. As we see the Japanese teams taking control of the semifinals and finals. Drive already moving up to the finals. We will be seeing first action versus Matrix very shortly. We are waiting on uh, their stuff to get set up. And then Twitch giveaway. Let me do that real quick. Just need to join this lobby because they hosted it already. Oh, rope derp. Here we go, Twitch giveaway. If you're not in the chat, GG. Let's see what happens. We're gonna do this very shortly and very promptly. Let's see. I, I've gotta wait for the viewer list to load because it's broken for some reason. There we go, we got the viewer list. I'm gonna copy this and give me a second. Fox555555555. Five, 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 five. That, that's pretty much the guy's name. Fox, are you in the chat? Let me just type your name. Congrats. Please post post your dog tag and platform in the chat. Bro, that name though. So many fives. But congratulations, Fox. I'm um, winning the Twitch giveaway, guys. Don't worry, we will have more giveaways for today as well. All right, let's quickly take a look at this matchup. We're gonna be seeing very shortly. Matrix versus First Action. I'm gonna start off. GG. I love how it says 2-0 already. Even though I haven't seen the game, uh, but uh, we will be starting off with Team Battle on Construction Site. So we will have to see how that works out. Construction site is a pretty balanced map. So both teams have an equal chance at winning this. And if it, even if it was something with ping, there are both Japanese teams. So Japanese team with good ping versus Japanese team with good ping, what's gonna happen? We don't know. Both teams have a chance at winning this. We will have to see what happens for this first game. See what like the score is like and how the teams play. But yeah, to be honest, I don't know why people like complain about the pings of the stuff. Like, yeah, if the, if the Japanese people host the server, it's gonna be an Asian server. They're gonna have better ping. 
It, it, it makes obvious sense. For example, if I play Modern Combat and I host the server, I have 30 ping to the server. That's that's pretty good. I'm kind of close to Canada. I live in Pennsylvania. Uh, but like... It just it depends on your internet speed and who hosts the match, really. All right, we have most of the players in. Just waiting on one more player for first action, and we will be good to go. First action versus Matrix. And here we go, game is starting, Team Battle Construction Site. Let's see how everything turns out right here. Let's see what their strats are. And let's see how each team plays this out, especially at the beginning. Alrighty, here we go, Matrix on the blue side. First action on the red side. Let's see how both teams decide to do this right here. On um, we do have first action already starting off for Tell staying in the back. Limited picking up a kill right away with a concussion grenade. Katana pushing in, getting Fumoto. And looks like they're just gonna take the balcony right there. Haru gonna be trying to take a spot right here, trying to control this small little uh this building. And we have Rena in the back as well. Katan knew he was there, however, and he gets taken out by a concussion grenade. First action starting off of this game relatively well with this three to zero lead, four to zero lead, over five to zero lead over Matrix. Matrix not yet to find a kill. Katan picking up another kill on Fumoto. Matrix needs to be careful about what's happening. They are EMP'd now. Rabbit pushing in, picking up a kill on Haru. Rina gonna get backstabbed right here. Another kill for first action, bringing the score to eight nine zero. 10-0, 11-0, what is happening right here? Matrix is choking hardcore, not able to find a kill anywhere. Looks like they just saw a play right here. Rina not spotting one. Finally, Haru is able to pick up the first kill of the game for Matrix. Rina taking down the recon in the air. Makes it a bit difficult for, uh, for first action to spot their players. Player coming from behind, limited getting a kill with the pistol right there. 5-16 already. We do have a uh, we do have Matrix finally getting some kills now. Uh, however, it wasn't after first action got a huge amount of kills after they got a huge lead over Matrix. Rattel just continues to throw some concussion grenades over the wall. The person rushing in on him, I don't think he realizes that just yet. It's a bit too late, and he gets taken out by Rina. Kumoto, person around the corner, he gets taken out by Katan. He looks away at the wrong moment. Rio pre-firing right there, but he's actually pre-firing in on his own teammates. Rattel. Trying to do the same thing, he uses his Berserk, he's going to be waiting for the perfect opportunity. His Berserk will give him the extra damage to help him kill the players faster. And looks like he's not able to find anyone just yet, he has to reload, but he pushes a bit too far up and he gets taken out by D10. Rina coming from behind, securing the kill, or helping getting the kill on limited. That does help with the assist, it does help save his teammate D10, surviving three players right there. Getting some kill streaks, ready at the turret. We do see Matrix slowly starting to come back. Fumoto picking up a kill on Katan right there. Rina pushing up as well, pushing up, spotting one player, spotting another player. I think he just saw that one when he was reloading, and we'll see what happens right here. We, we see that huge lead that first action had at the beginning of this game. It is now practically gone, and now it's almost an even match. We do have a five kill difference still. However, it, is, it seems like it's going to be easy for uh, for Matrix to actually recover at this point. They're just continuously getting kills after kills. First action, not able to get any more double kills or triple kills recently. And that's what they need to be doing if they want to be keeping this lead. Katan pushing from the back. Throwing some extra concussion grenades just in case there are players back here. There is one around this corner. Gets one. Backs up just in time with very, very low HP remaining. He had 20%. If he got hit once, he would have died right there. First action still in the lead by one point. Matrix tying it up 27 to 27. Now 28 to 27 with the kill right there. But Katan. Haru. Knowing there's going to be some players pushing through. Free fires on the barrel. Hopefully trying to get a headshot right there. Not able to do much, however. 
and he does have to reload as soon as he tries to back up and the enemy team pushes in Rio pushing in but gets knifed by Rina Haru going in for a kill as well but gets traded and concussion grenades over the wall he needs to be careful they are gonna rush him if he is throwing grenade at the time he's throwing the uh or if he does for oh my god what was that he just backed up and got a nice double kill right there with eight percent health remaining don't know how he's able to get that but congrats on him that just helped out his team a bit right now we do have matrix in the lead but we do have first action finally getting some double kills that does finally tie up the score first action just needs to hold on First action still has a chance at winning this game right here. They just need to be extremely careful about what's happening. Rattel trying to go around this corner right here. Switch it to the KOG for the extra Berserk damage. Not able to find anyone just yet. Free Fire is inside of the main part of the construction site. Trying to wait on people to push through. Rio. Same thing. Just controlling this entrance right here. Making sure that no one's pushing out. No one's going in. It does give him an advantage if they start getting uh, a bit too kill hungry. They start pushing up a bit. Rio. Player on the top. I don't know if you saw them, but the team was able to take him out. Rina gets taken down. Tan with the KOG. Flying B10 right there. Aiming in, getting the extra damage as well. And he is able to secure a kill. He knows there's a few more players. Over here, right here, Haru going in for the kill with PR39. Not able to do any damage, however, he gets killed. Limited pushing up right here. Finally using a different class instead of sniper. But then he gets uh, he gets killed himself by a recon player who's just been waiting. Continues to use recon. Uh, he sees there are players around him. He needs to make sure that they don't push up on him. And they're going to throw some Chris grenades around this wall. Trying to get some kills. He is able to do some pretty decent damage. Bringing him to very, very low HP. But I don't think it matters at this point, but we do see Matrix actually securing the win against first action. 50 to 49, so a very, very close game between both teams. I was kind of scared for Matrix at first, because Matrix uh, started off that game not too strong. However, they came back strong, and that is what helped them get the win. Congrats to them. Congrats to first action. Alrighty, we will be getting into the next match very shortly. We are waiting on uh, the, everything to get hosted, all that kind of stuff. Let's make sure we're good to go. Keep in mind, guys, whoever wins this right here, whoever wins this will... uh. We'll be moving up to the finals. And we'll be facing, I believe, Drive. Let's quickly double check that right here. We do have Drive in the finals already as well. Also, you know what I just realized, guys? You know what we just realized? Look at this right here. Semi. We got all the teams in the semifinals. That means we have a giveaway to do, guys. On our Mob Crush page. You guys don't want our Mob Crush page, it's mobcrush.com slash modern underscore combat five. Just head over to our Mob Crush page and we will be doing a hashtag semi giveaway starting immediately. I didn't realize that. I, I didn't remember about that at first actually. But we we do have a, a giveaway for each part of the bracket does, that, that does get full. So that also does include the finals. We'll probably do the finals one a bit later in, like partially into the finals, uh, since the finals is best out of five instead of just best out of three. Hacks, we gotta get your dog tag. Yes. 
I got your dog tag. When is the YouTube giveaway? The YouTube giveaway will be for the finals today, and we might actually be getting into the finals very shortly. If we see Matrix taking another victory right here, that will be it. We will see Matrix moving up to the finals to face Drive. However, first action gets another win right here. To come back, it'll tie up the score, and I'll put all of it on the final match. We'll have to see. Let me quickly link our Mob Crush page to the people on Facebook as well and on Twitch. So if you guys are on Twitch, here you go. You could win more than one giveaway. Yes, you could technically win more than one giveaway. It's not very, it's very unlikely to happen, but if you do win more than one giveaway, then congrats. Let me quickly post this right here. Type. All right, now let's see. Uh, head over to Mob Crush for a chance to win. 500 credits. Pin. Let me go pin this comment real quick. And there you go. And you two people, you know what's up. If you want the credits, you can head over to Mob Crush. I can't post links on uh, I can't post links on on YouTube. I don't have like moderator or anything. I should have moderator for YouTube, but I don't. Kind of sad. I wish I did. Say my name says Exterpinator X. Yo, I am reading this chat, so keep that in mind. Your nickname, my nickname. If you guys don't know who I am, this is the first time you're actually watching one of these Go For Modern Combat 5 broadcasts. All you need to know, really. Pretty much it's a 5 on 5 cup, best out of 3 until we get to the finals. And usually. Uh, and uh, my my surname or internet name is just Tehaxer or just Haxer. My real name is Sebastian, but Haxer, aka Sebastian, or Sebastian, aka Haxer, whatever you want to call me by. I don't really matter. It doesn't really matter what you call me, but I prefer Haxer, and it's a bit easier to remember. H A X O R. All right, we are just waiting on the second match to get set up for these two teams. First, Action versus Matrix. Once we get the password, we will get in. All would be good in Spanish. Huh. I currently actually do have a Google Translate actively running on my streams as well. So if you do type something in a different language, I'll try my best to respond, but uh, I'll respond in English. Um, so yeah, English is my primary language. I've, I, I haven't really, I don't know any other language really fluently. I know some words in German. I know some words in Japanese. Oh, and I know some words in Spanish, but those are like f just simple phrases. Uh, but pretty much English, super fluent. Uh, that's why English is main language for this. All right, looks like we got the next match right here. Let us see what is up. Can Gameloft provide me Vulcan armor uh, for review on my channel? Gameloft doesn't provide stuff to anyone unless they are a Gameloft insider. And to get a game, to become a Gameloft insider, it's I don't even know how to do it myself. All I know is it's kind of difficult to do. Uh, 
and it's sometimes contract related. Like right now, I'm contracted to actually stream Modern Combat, so I'm on a contract. Uh, that is one of the reasons I'm in a Game Loft Insider. That's one of the reasons I get the stuff. It's not like if they gave out if they gave out the armor to like everyone who asked to to actually review it, everyone would have the armor. So they only do it for a select few people. Who is the winner of the event and got 500 credits? We haven't done the Mob Crush giveaway yet. We have done the one on our Facebook page. The one on our Twitch page is over as well. Now we're doing our Mob Crush giveaway. We're going to be playing one, two more games before we draw that winner. Right now we have First Action joining the game. They have four players we're waiting on most of... Is it, or is this First Action? It's, this is First Action. We are just waiting on most of Matrix to join before we can begin. Sean, stop commenting on multiple accounts or else I'm going to keep on banning your accounts. Shake my head. Alrighty. We are waiting on Matrix to join. Once we have Matrix in the game, we will begin. We have all of first action ready to go. Keep in mind, guys, Matrix does have the lead against first action right now. Very, very close game. I thought first action was actually going to win that, but it was very, very close. 49 to 50, Matrix coming back in the end and securing the first victory for the game, which is pretty critical for them. It does also give them some buffer room. Second game that they will be playing for today will be a Vantage. Let's take a look at this right here. It's constru first game was on construction site. Second game will be Vantage. And if we do go on third, if we do see first action take a victory on uh, on Vantage, we will be moving on to Streets. However, right now, let's not try to look into the future. Let's try to look at right now. Team Battle Vantage is going to be starting very shortly. We are waiting on the teams to join. And once we get them in, we will begin. Modern Combat Versus won't, doesn't seem that great to me, honestly. I feel like it will have the same pay to win as this game. I, I'm i pretty sure it will be free to play. I hope it won't be pay to win. If it was like pay to get like camo and armor, and like armor that doesn't give you extra bonuses, just armor that looks nice armor, I'd be fine with that. However, if it's pay to win, I'm not going to like it too much. I do know Modern Combat Versus is being made by the people who made Modern Combat uh, 4 and Modern Combat 3. So they have uh, it's gonna be a bit better than Modern Combat 5 in my personal opinion. I do, imp I do enjoy Modern Combat 3 and 4 a bit better. Uh, but uh, we'll have to see. We'll have to see how everything turns out in the end. Right now we don't have too much on Modern Combat Versus. We only have some information. Uh, for example, let's see. Uh, I can bring up some photos. You might have seen them already. Uh, images or news.
Where is this at? I don't think they have it. Here it is. All right, give me a second. Let me open this page up. Different tab. Here we go. This was a. This was a. A uh, an article. They released these few photos um, a while ago on Modern Combat Versus. It's just like concept art and stuff. Looks kind of strange, but like, eh, I don't know. Gameplay, all that kind of stuff. For English people, I could just Google Translate because Translate's OP. Hey, it also looks like we're starting the, uh, looks like we're also starting the, the match right now. So let's quickly switch back to this Matrix versus First Action. Let's begin that right now. Let's see who will win game number two will be matrix moving ahead after winning game number two or will it be first action and let us begin matrix is on the blue side we have for actually is yeah we know matrix is on the red side we have first action on the blue side and let's what the heck is this? Look at this blurry effect. Oh my gosh, this looks kind of funny. It's because someone zoomed in. Hopefully it fixes when he zooms out. There we go. That glitch though, that looks kind of funny at first, just seeing the gun all blurry. That's one of the reasons why the game lags. It has these custom like blurry graphic effects and stuff. Like if they didn't have it, it would it'd run so much better. Anyways, let me get back into the commentary. Right now we do have first action in the lead only by uh by the small little picks they've gotten. Nothing too major just yet, so Matrix doesn't really have to worry uh, anytime soon. As long as they are just continuously getting kills, like D10 and Lynch right there, picking up Limited with the Sniper. All they need to do is make sure they are just continuously picking up some kills. Even if first action does take the lead for a while, uh, they might have a... they should be good. Haru pushing in right here, getting taken out by a Concussion Grenade, and also Katan picking up Devil as well. Rabbit flying one player on the bottom, doing some damage. Rina Sam actually save uh Derp. Rina having a very low HP right there. Haru pushing in. Haru throwing concussion grenades over the wall, trying to get some kills with that. He knows there's a few people over here. He knows there are some people behind these walls. Picks up one kill on Rabbit, and good on him as well. We probably will have a sniper, however. On the other side, ooh, Limited is actually not using the Sniper today. Limited is actually using the KOG, going in for those kills. Limited and Katan uh, picking up some kills right there, helping their team out. And it does put first action in the lead. It's currently 10 to 7. Let's see what happens right here. D10 has to be careful, especially when running across that small little open balcony. Uh, it is a very open area. And as you see right there, across the map, kill by Limited. And that's what I was talking about. They need to be careful about staying out in the open. Uh, right now, Matrix, if they just stay out, they just pretty much are going to be feeding kills to first action. Rio picking up another kill on double with the sniper rifle. Rattel just staying back here looking for people who are on that walkway as well. Watching the bottom of the stairs, watching the top of the stairs. Trying to watch both sides. Besides, he's going to be moving from that location. He didn't spot anyone in time. D10 pushing in. Did some pre-fires with the KOG. Not able to hit any shots off on the target. Cooks a concussion grenade. Throws one. But not able to do any damage there either. Rio ran all the way around with the sniper rifle. Still trying to find some kills here. But still trying to stay back at the same time. Rio is currently doing pretty good with a 4-1 to point lead. Currently like carrying the team. Not, I don't think you would really call that a carry the team. But it, it does help out having a player who doesn't have that many deaths. Haru gets sniped. But then after Haru gets sniped... Uh, Rio gets sniped in return. Rio is able to secure a turret, however. Bots one player right there. Going in for the snipe kill. Picking up a nice quick scope on Devil. That does help first action keep their lead. 22 to 14. Now keep in mind if first action wins this game right here, first action will be moving at. Uh, first action will tie up the score and there will be one more game we'll be moving on to game number three currently we do see uh currently we do see matrix in the lead in terms of games one <clears throat> lineage just staying back here 
trying to find some kills. Not able to spot anyone just yet. Just uh, peeks out every once in a while just to make sure that there's no one in those areas. Uh, however, for the most part, he is trying to stay back. He's trying to play super defensively, uh, just like many of the other snipers on their team now. B10 coming from the side. Looks like we have first action and taking control of this one little area. And we have uh, we have some of Matrix splitting apart, trying to challenge them in this area. I don't know if it's really the smartest idea at this point, however. Lineage picking up a kill right there on Katana with a nice headshot. Quickscope with this DSW. And it looks like he's going to be backing off as well. EMP strike deployed. That will help out a lot for their team. D10 just pushes in. Devil pushes in as well. Getting a nice double kill on Rio. And then another player. And we do have a few more first actions stuff in this one location right here. And they're pushing up, finding one, getting the kill. Knowing there's one more around the corner. He killed himself. Person behind him, not able to turn around in time, and he does get taken out. Patel looking for someone, but gets backstabbed. And this is, might actually be where uh, this might be where Remix comes, or not Remix, uh, Matrix comes back right there. As you see, they are just picking up kills left and right. Nice double, nice triple feed by their team. They are very close. D10 surviving with 1% HP with the werewolf, getting the knife kill off. First action, slowly, slowly. Losing their lead. As you see right here, Matrix has the lead once again. 34 to 35. If Matrix is able to hold this lead, if Matrix is able to win this match right here, first action will be done for. This is a best out of three comp uh, matchup right here. And uh, this is the, the second game they're playing. If Matrix wins the second one, that will be it. E10 using the Zerk. Pushing in. Trying to find these kills. Trying to find the final few kills, at least to tie up the score. It's even. 41 to 41. First action doing the same thing themselves, just trying to find the kills. Lineage picking up a nice kill on Rattel across the map with the sniper. 50 to 49. 42 to 42. First pushing and getting a nice double kill right here. And getting a nice triple kill. 40 seconds left in this game right now. The first action is able to keep the three point lead. They will be able to survive another round and move up to the finals. Katana trying to go from the side. Only 24 seconds left in this game. Trying to look for some more kills. Matrix still has a chance, but they would need to get four kills to actually do it. And I don't think they're going to be able to do it. 39, and it looks like that was 50 right there. And that will be the game. We see first action coming back. 50 to 43 against the Matrix. Good game by both teams. Alrighty guys, keep in mind we are also still doing a, uh, a Mob Crush giveaway that's going on right now. If you haven't already, head over to our Mob Crush page, mobcrush.com slash modern underscore combat 5. All you need to do is just type in hashtag semi into our chat. That's hashtag semi into the chat for a chance. All right, gonna be waiting on them to host the third match. First action was able to secure the one critical need they needed to uh, stay in the match. One to one at the moment. If first action wins this next match, this next match pretty much will decide who moves up to the final, who moves up to face drive. Let's see how many hashtag semis do we have on our mobcrush chat right now. Mobcrush.com slash modern underscore combat five. And we got quite a few people actually saying it. Quite a few people doing the hashtag as well. Guys, keep in mind this is open for anyone on our mobcrush page.
Alrighty. We are waiting on the third match to get set up. And once it is set up, we will join and we will get back into the gameplay. What's my Facebook? I'm not going to tell you my Facebook. I can tell them the Facebook for the page. It's facebook.com slash modern combat. I'm not telling my Facebook though. I didn't get your credits. Please help me. If you haven't gotten your credits, please contact me on my Twitter page. Just tell me the, the week that you won. Uh, and if you can, the cup title. Uh, like, for example, a blue 20 or red 20, which is going on right now. Uh, it just makes it a bit easier for me to identify and make sure that you did uh, actually win credits if you did win credits. I know he has been sending out credits to the more recent people. Uh, however, I, I have heard maybe like the third time someone said uh, they haven't gotten credits from the older ones. So I'm going to try to make sure everything does get resolved. I do apologize for the uh, the wait with that as well. Currently waiting on the match to get hosted one last time. Keep in mind, this is the last time it will get hosted. Currently 1-1, one, one, first action 1, Matrix 1. And this match will decide who moves up to the finals. Alrighty, alrighty. Here we go. We are in the lobby right now. First action is setting up. We have Matrix setting up. Waiting on all their players to join. Once we have all their players in the match, we will begin. A final matchup in first action versus Matrix for the chance of moving on to the finals. You've made a breakthrough on how to get credits. How so? My breakthrough on how to get credits is play uh, custom games, not custom games, play normal matches and I get 10 credits per game. I'll see you found some super, super breakthrough. I know there's a glitch at the moment with, uh, there's a glitch with power user and, and the daily login. I probably shouldn't even said that because now people are gonna try to find out what it is. Uh, pretty much it just gets it so you can keep on claiming the daily login over and over again. Uh, however, you will probably get banned if you do it, because I, I know some people have already gotten banned from doing it. What is the Mob Crush name? The Mob Crush name is Modern Underscore Combat. So let me, uh, let me tell you right here. At low EMP uh, party. Here we go. That is the, the mob Christian name. Let 
live stream the Android tournaments, but I, I don't have time to live stream Android tournaments. Saturday is the only free day I have any week. Uh, like, like, pretty much, I work and have school Monday through Friday. Saturday is the only free day I have during the week. And then Sunday I stream this. So if I was streaming the Android Cup as well, I would have no free days. And no free days means I have no time for myself. At all. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't want that at all. I would, I would get too stressed out. Too tired. Alrighty, we have most of the people in. Nope, did we have most of the people in? Doesn't seem like it. They had they had, first action had their team join and then they left. And why is that? I don't know. We had most of first action in, and then they left, and then they joined back, or one of them joined back, and two of them joined back. All right, a bit confused. Hopefully everything gets resolved quickly. A final intense match: Matrix versus Rio. Uh, versus a uh, first action. I said Rio because Rio is actually one of the first action members in the uh, in the match right now. Alrighty. We are waiting on these final few people. Once we get these final few people, we will be good to go. Currently four v one. Like I, I don't know. First action, they they had most of their team and then they left. You see, look, we 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 waiting on a few players. Players, please, why do you take so long to join? I have no idea, but it it does take a while. But this will be the final matchup between these two teams, and we're getting some players now. Yes, there we go, getting some players now. Only need only need two more, two more team players. And that is for Matrix, and it will be good to go. There's all the first action ready to go. Just waiting on Matrix. Guys, keep in mind we will be still doing the Mob Crush giveaway. This is going to be the last match we spectate before we do that. So uh, keep your socks on, all that kind of stuff. And we will actually be getting into a game very, very shortly. Matrix is going to be on the blue side. We're going to have first action on the red side. This will be the final matchup between these teams. This will be the final game for one of these teams. Who will win? Who will move up to the finals? Don't know just yet, but we'll find out soon. Like I said, we have we have Matrix on blue. We have first action on red. We're gonna have to see how everything turns out right here. First action has to be kind of careful about pushing up. They do secure the first kill of the game. Uh, however, they need to be careful for people who are still inside of the bunker right here. You see, they're not really rushing in just yet. They don't know exactly where people are just yet. And once they have vision, they probably will rush in. But at the moment, they're just they're just playing safe. Just staying back. Rio right here spotting a player on the top. His teammate was able to get a kill for him. Rio getting rushed in by a few players. Devil trying to pre-fire. We have D10 trying to pre-fire as well, but Rabbit takes him out. Devil surviving. So 
very low HP, and is able to get the kill on Rabbit. Devil going around. Going for the kill. Gets the knife kill in Catan. Very, very unlikely thing that usually happens, getting the knife kill. However, it did work out for that short moment. And we do see that Matrix was able to take OE. 12 to 11, 13 to 11. Nice double spray down by Devil again once more. He 10 trying to go around, trying to find some people, make sure they're not in the spawn thing of a spawn trap. Kuboto pushing up some of his teammates. He knows there's going to be some people rushing in from that common area right there. And that's why one of the contingents are so useful at the moment. They just they make it so deadly compared to the other grenades. Moto pushing in right here, getting a kill on Rabbit. Spotting one more player right there, switches through the pistol, going in for the kill. Gets the kill on Katan. That does help out their team quite a bit. Matrix still does have the lead at the moment. 5-5 five, five points. Rio just dropping down that point by one. D10 pushing up. And he gets killed by Rabbit. This is why I love one of the things I like about first action. It's their good teamwork. They have good teamwork together. You need to be careful about exactly what happens throughout the game. Matrix picking up a nice double kill with concussion grenades right there on first action. Devil pushing up right here, getting a kill on Rabbit. This is kind of going somewhat slow right now. They are still rushing in, but there's still that small, like, little delay. They're just staying inside of the, uh, the, the, the building. And you don't really see them getting too many kills. Rio getting taken. Or Rio getting a kill on Fumoto right there. Rabbit starts to crush grenades at the entrance. Hoping that no one pushes in through that doorway. Fumoto pushing up. Going in for the kill. Gets the kill on Katan. And that might be some of the critical uh, points that they need to actually come back. Very, very close game. Only 10 kills. Only 9, or yeah, only 10 kills left remaining for Matrix to actually take this match right here. On the other hand, we have 15 kills for first action. Keep in mind, whoever does win this match right here will be moving up. And finding a few. Not able to, oh, able to actually get some kills. And, but they do need to be careful about giving up the final few kills to uh, first action. Moto rushing around, only two kills left remaining for Matrix, seven kills left for first action. Who is going to be the one to win this team, or other team right here? EMP strike deployed. Recon aircrafts in the air. Everything is getting dropped right now because pretty much everything is uh, what can get dropped. And there we have it. We will have it. Matrix taking out first action in the second, in the third game actually. 50 to 48. Matrix, congratulations on moving up to the finals. First action, good try, but you will get knocked down to the third place bracket. Good games before the both teams. Congrats on Matrix on moving ahead to the finalists for being our finalists for today.
Alrighty, alrighty. It is time, guys. If you are wondering what time is it, it is time to do our Mob Crush giveaway. I know a lot of people on Mob Crush have been waiting for a while, but it is finally time to do it. If you haven't already, I'm going to give you about 15 seconds. Mobcrush.com slash modern underscore combat 5. All you need to do is type in hashtag semi for a chance to win 500 credits, and we will be drawing the winner very shortly. Very shortly, guys. Haxter, is it? Oh, true. True, 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 true. It was supposed to be Rush. You're right. Let me actually tell him. You are right, though, about the... It is supposed to be a tiebreaker in Rush. I forgot about that. It's because they just added the rules such a... Such a, like a short time ago. Huh. Well, I'm going to have to go see what's up with that and see if, uh... If we see, uh... Let's see. Looks like they might have rehosted it, so we might be good. We'll see, we'll see, though. Make sure I get everything sorted out before. Ooh, looks like first action might still be in it. We have to wait and see what happens. Giveaway, yes. I, I, I'm sorry. We will do the giveaway. Sorry about that, guys. I'm just, I'm trying to see what's happening here. See if, uh, if we will be seeing that match up again. Also, it is. I will do the giveaway drawing right now. So, guys, don't worry. Let me quickly do it right now. Refresh this page, and the winner for our Mob Crush giveaway. Our Mob Crush giveaway winner will be... Oh my gosh, there's a lot of viewers here. Is my viewer list broken? Probably, because it's Google Chrome. Let me just give me a second. Let me open this up in Internet Explorer, because it's better, apparently. I don't know. My, my viewer list breaks so much on... Uh, my viewer list breaks so much on uh, on Chrome. Here we go. Skylar at the top. Skylar at the top. Are you in the chat? Let 
gonna quickly copy the name and paste it. Also, why is there spam? You only, typing in more times does not increase your chance of winning. If Skylar at the top is not here, we will quickly, we will wait about five minutes and we will then redraw the giveaway. He left? Did he just leave as well? I still see him on the list. All right, apparently we will just be moving on with the finals. We're waiting on the password right now for everything to get set up. Let's quickly twitch over to the brackets, show you guys what is happening. And how everything is looking right now at this moment. Also, since we technically are on the finals, we can technically start our YouTube giveaway. So people on YouTube, all you need to do is type in on fi uh, for our YouTube, just type in hashtag finals. I will get the uh, the mob crush stuff sorted out, so we'll see. We'll see. Apparently, the guy's still not here, so we will redraw. All right, and we are getting into the finals match as well. Five v five, and we are beginning team battle conversion. Dry versus Matrix. Let's quickly switch over to this and make sure our stuff is good to go. Guys, I will do the redraw for for, for Mob Crush, but like this is already started, so I'm gonna do that after after the next match. I do apologize for that. You got homework to do. Do your homework and watch the stream. Is your name even there in the random name list? Yes. It's it's all of yours. Anyways, let's get right into this right here. So we have Matrix starting off pretty strong with a 5-0 lead over, uh, over Drive. Drive actually... Uh, not doing too hot at the beginning of this game. They finally just pick up a kill with Leo Chen right there, picking up one. But we just see EMPs, turrets, everything really deployed right away by Dry, uh, by by Matrix. Matrix is getting lots of kills right off the bat, and we, Drive has to be careful. Drive has to be careful about rushing in like this as well. If they give too many kills to Matrix right off the bat, it'll be extremely difficult for them to come back near the end. Drive. Pushing up right here, getting killed by Arena. Lineage pushing up. Spotting one player on the top. Please, will he go for the kill? No, he turns around. Going for the no scope. It looks like he's gonna get knifed. He gets knifed. By now. Now continues on with his knifing spree. Is he able to get it? No. Oh, he actually is able to get another kill on Arena. So he is just going ham with the knife. But they need to be careful. Drive. If they do give too many kills, like I said, if they do give too many kills to Matrix, it'll be very, very difficult for, to come, for them to come back at that point. Drive, Dust, pushing up right here. His teammate helped by taking the kill person that was above the stairs. Looks like he's going to be going on the catwalk, trying to look for some kills up here. Decides to jump down instead. On the other hand, we have Lynch in the back, trying to find some kills. He has the recon class. He can tell if there are people near him. He does know there's a few people around him. Doesn't actually go for them, however. Three fires around this corner, trying to chase this one person, and he gets sniped. Ant on the top, giving covering fire for his team, just picking people off one at a time. Nice kills by them. Ant getting a turret already. 
He is just going to be watching the stairs, making sure no one's pushing out. Making sure this is a safe spot for him. He needs to also be careful about the enemy team pushing up. He does have a sniper, and snipers can't easily be rushed. Ant is playing this game very cautiously right now. Maybe a bit too cautiously. He stays on the stairs for a bit too long, and he gets taken out by a PR-39 across the map. You have Rena right here trying to push in as well. Just aiming just in case there's someone around the corner. Spots one gets the kill on Ant. Ant peeking for a bit too long, not realizing that person is there. Eric getting a kill with the KOG. Knowing there's a few people on the top. Free fire is up. Not able to get the kill. Does some damage, but it takes some significant damage himself. Lineage going to the back with a sniper rifle. There's a lot of people going to be rushing in. Dust gets the kill, however, with the concussion grenade left on the ground. We do see Drive actually was able to bring up the lead. Drive was able to almost tie up the score. It's a very, very close game now. And Drive still does have a chance at winning this game right here. Imagine if they were doing this well from the beginning of the game. Drive would be in the lead at the moment, and they might actually have been, uh, they, they would have had a bit higher chance of actually winning this game. We have now picking up another kill right here with the uh, KOG, but he does get backstabbed by one of the teammates that was watching. Rina pushing in with the Bramson. One kill, Drive Ant killing itself, but that does give his team a negative point, or does that technically just gives a point to the other team? Leo pushing in, getting a kill with the PR-39. Air getting a kill with the KOG. Dust going around. No one really in his area at the moment, however. Ant picking up a kill with a nice headshot. No scope. He does have a turret active, or a turret ready to go. He is going to be saving it in his inventory for the perfect opportunity. He should probably use it. The game is slowly getting towards the end. Just use everything to your advantage at the moment. 44, 45, 45, 45. Both teams still have a huge chance of winning this game right here. They just need to be very careful about it. Drive, and why aren't you putting down your recon or your, your turret? Gets pushed in and gets taken out. 47 to 48 right here. Drive still behind by one kill. But they still do have a chance of winning this game right here. Right now, Matrix is in a slightly better position. 49, and it looks like that was a triple spray down by Drive. Drive taking the victory for the first game with a nice comeback with a triple spray at the end. Good game to drive. All right, let's quickly update this as well. We gotta update our overlay, you know, all that good stuff. We gotta show the proper teams. Drive versus Matrix for the finals. Drive currently in the lead. Do I have the drive photo? I don't know. Let me see. I didn't have the drive photo, actually. Oh, wow! I don't actually have the drive photo, apparently. Here we go. We now have the drive photo. Here we go. That is the matchup for right now. Drive. Oh, it's actually D-R-I-V-E, but then... Let me fix that real quick. But we will be getting into game number two shortly. I will redraw the Mob Crush winner. So you don't have to say it to me multiple times. I know. Jeez, guys. There we go. And we're going to redraw the Mob Crush winner right now. Blank screen? Yeah, I know it was a blank screen because I, I had to update something. Alrighty, alrighty. So I did the redraw. Let's see if this person's in the chat, however, because apparently maybe my viewer list isn't working for Mob Crush. 
Amazed Mobile. Amazed Mobile. Congratulations on winning our random Mob Crush giveaway. If you guys think I'm rigging it or anything, I'm, I'm not. Look, you see here. You're totally not rigged. 100% legit. There you go. Random name picker. We, Amazed Mobile. Congrats on winning. All right, Amazed Mobile, all you need to do is post your dog tag into the chat. Post your platform into the chat. That is all that is necessary. Congrats on winning. Let me quickly join the uh, let me quickly join the next matchup for the finals. Just need to join up and we will be good to go for game number 2. Currently we have Drive in the lead. Drive with a nice comeback last game. So we're going to have to see how it works out right now. Alrighty. And let me uh, let me make sure everything's good to go. We are in the next matchup. The ma next match will team battle will be team battle uh, scramble. We are currently waiting on everything to load in for the map to load in. And once we are in, we will begin. Drive will be on the red team this time. We'll have Matrix on the blue team. And let's see how everything turns out for this game. Dry versus Matrix. Let us get right into it. Right off the bat, we have Matrix kind of splitting into different parts. We have some of Matrix going to the back on this side. We're actually not most of Matrix going to the back on this side. On the other hand, we have Drive coming from the side, getting this nice position right here behind the car. And they will be able to come from the side of Matrix. However, it doesn't really matter at this point. Uh, Matrix does tie up the score. Haru spotting another player. I don't think he saw him in time, however. Haru almost dying from the concussion grenade, surviving that with 1% HP remaining. Leo Chan just aiming, trying to find some kills right here. Drive just continues to pick up some kills, spotting some players. Leo Chan getting a nice headshot on Lineage right across the map with the PR 39, and then gets taken out with the concussion grenade. Ant is just looking across with the sniper rifle, just trying to wait for someone to peek out. He does have the car as cover, so he will be able to wash this area and kind of stop Matrix from pushing in. Right now, Matrix, I don't know what they're doing. They're just kind of staying out in the open. They're trying to control this middle area. And that's the first time I've actually seen a team try to do that. Usually, they try to control one of the sides of the maps, like the back part of the map that we see drive in or control the bunker, that kind of stuff. Uh, but right now, we see Matrix just trying to control the outside. And to be honest, it's actually kind of working at the moment. They are giving up some free kills to uh, to Matrix. However, they need to uh, or they are giving some kills some kills to Drive, but they do need to be careful about uh, how they're pushing in. Devil picking up a nice double kill right there with the KOG. Haru pushing up as well, finding one, knowing there's a few more around this corner. Going in, getting another headshot, but gets taken out by Dust. We're not pushing in as well. Has a KOG spotting one. Just pre fires around this corner. Spots a few others, not able to secure any kills. You have Devil with his American Patriot armor getting all his kill tricks ready to go. Recon deployed. He still has an extra EMP in his back pocket. EMP deployed right now, making it a bit more difficult for the drive members to actually get kills, to actually find where these players are. And Devil actually able to survive right there. I am super surprised how he was able to live. We have air, and a few of the other drive members just stuck in this aircraft carrier right now. Leo Chan has to be careful. They have to watch their back. People will be rushing in. Leo Chan getting a nice headshot on Rina right there. Drive has been holding on. 22 to 15. They still have a chance of actually winning this match. They did come back last game, so I'm, I, I won't be surprised if they're able to do it a second time. Now, pre-firing with the 
uh, PR39, or the, the KOG, pushing in, getting a kill on D10, getting taken out, however. Lineage getting a kill on air with a sniper rifle, and just staying in the bunker, trying to look for some kills right here, but it's going to be kind of difficult to do, especially with this kind of angle, especially with all this cover uh, that they would have, and picking up a kill with a frag grenade, which is kind of surprising to see. You, you never see people using frag grenades nowadays, now you just see people using uh, concussion grenades or EMPs. Ant shooting down the recon aircraft that does stop Matrix from having some vision on the map. Ant just continues to aim down, trying to wait for someone to peek out. Spots one. He does know there's a player here. Doesn't know he went to the other side. He probably thought he was still up behind the box, and that did not work out too well for him. He dies. He gets taken out. That does help put Matrix in quite the big lead. 31 to 21 right now. A 10 point difference, 9 point difference between both teams. D10 pushing in from the left. He has the KOG. Will Leo get the kill though? Leo gets the kill with the PR39. He does have Berserk. He did have Berserk active. That did give him the extra damage that probably helped him uh, kill the player a ton faster. And look at that. Look at all those people lined up right there. Haru picking up a nice kill on Leo Chen. Thing in the back. We do have a lot of snipers actually playing now. We have Ant right here. Ant trying to find a good angle. I think he just saw a player rush past. He's going to throw a concussion grenade just in case. He needs to be careful. Ant picking up a nice quick scope on Rina. Lineage pushing up. Finding Leo Chan, but a bit too late. Leo Chan takes him out with the PR39. Haru, quick scope. No, missing that. Oh, actually, no, not actually missing that shot. Haru actually hit that shot right there. That was insane. But currently, 38-31. Both teams do have a chance of winning this game right here. However, they're so spread apart, and the the action is just so so brief. As you see right here, it's just like a, a quick snap of the wrist right there, like Lineage getting a snipe and then backing off. It's not really too many uh, active gunfights now. We have Air throwing some concussion grenades over the wall, trying to get some kills. It looks like Air wants to be pushing up. He needs to be careful. There's a player on his right. I don't know. I think it was the player on his right that was able to kill him. Oh, a sniper on the top was able to get it. Matrix. D10 going in for the kill on Dust. Dust getting taken down. Ant aiming around this corner. Trying to look for some kills. Doesn't know there's a player behind him. Looks like we have Drive with the bad spawn now. The location that we're spawning right now is not the best spawn in the world. However, it's not inside of the building right here. If they spa get them spawning in this building right here, this is what, probably one of the worst spawns that they could have had for the game. And it looks like that will be it. Matrix. Taking the win, making the score one to one against Drive, fifty to thirty-seven. Good game to both teams. All righty, guys. Guys, there is a YouTube giveaway going on right now. All you need to do is type in hashtag finals. On our YouTube page, hashtag finals on our YouTube page for a chance to win 500 credits. Amazed Mobile, I got your dog tag. You are set. You are good to go. Congratulations on winning our Mob Crush giveaway. Last giveaway for today, like I said, will be on our YouTube page. If you guys haven't already, head over to our YouTube and type in hashtag finals for a chance to win 500 credits. The final 500 credits for this cup. Someone says, please, Modern Combat, please give me a shout-out. Also, apparently my Facebook stream died. Uh, maybe all my streams died. Let me check real quick. Let's see, let's see. I don't know, the Facebook broadcast just ended for a second. No, but every other broadcast is up. Why, why did Facebook die? That is weird. Facebook, does Facebook have a time limit, maybe? Ah, uh, I think Facebook might have a time limit. That would be kind of strange, because I've streamed longer stuff on Facebook before. That's weird. I 
Am I the only one here? Yeah, Twitch is usually our slowest platform, to be honest. Twitch is usually uh, super, super slow. I don't know, usually you think Twitch is going to be a really big platform, there's going to be a lot of people. But the thing is, Twitch is not really that big, especially for mobile. If you go to like Mob Crush, or uh, you even YouTube, uh, there's usually a lot more viewers. Even our Facebook page, but then again, that's the Facebook page, that's for people who follow it on Facebook and like it on Facebook, all that kind of stuff. All right, we are waiting on game number three to get set up, to get hosted. Once we get in game number three, once we get in the game number three, it will be only one more game after that for our YouTube giveaway. We will do our YouTube giveaway for game number four, guys. We're moving into game number three right now. If you guys have any questions or concerns, feel free to ask them right now as well, especially during the intermission. While I don't have much to actually, uh, much to really post, I, I like the, the only thing I really could do right now is show my dog tag, which I've done earlier. If you guys need my dog tag, I'll just type it into the chat. It's 9b2d6. I'll just type it into multiple chats because e9b2d6, and I'll just paste it everywhere. Paxers dog tag. I'll post it on all the platforms for people who don't have me added yet. If you want to add me, feel free to do so. Uh, however, just send me a message. Just send me a message. Uh, don't send me a friend request. I don't get friend requests for some reason. I don't know why. There's a glitch with the. Uh, there's a glitch with the with the. Uh, the friend list right now. I think it's because I have a full friend list. I can still add people though, which is kind of weird. Also, uh, let's actually, uh, let's do this right here. Zone control. Zone control. Yes, zone control. Let's do this. You guys might be like, what do you mean zone control? I mean zone control custom match. Because I'm going to be hosting one very shortly. Also, I just messed up something real quick. There we go. Here we go, zone control custom game. If you guys want to join this, password's ESL123. Feel free to join. Anyone can join on iOS. Open for anyone. Let's see how many people we get. Right now they are trying to resolve something right now. There was an issue with the, uh, there's an issue going on. Once they get the issue resolved, and once we get back into business, I'll leave the custom game. But for now, if anyone wants to join, feel free to join. Like I said, password's ESL123. Anyone can get in this game. It's open for anyone. Alright, we're getting quite a few people in the, the lobby. Am I on the team already? Oh, I am on the team. Black Fire Force, can you join a team real quick? Please? 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 If you don't join a team, I'll have to start without you. Okay, I have to start without you. Because you took too long.
Alrighty. Here we go. Let's try this out. Let's see. Oh my gosh, the charge time now. Can I kill my own, myself with this bullet? This is. You see the bullet flying back at you. Let's see if I can do some shenanigans right here. Alpha is ours. Capturing Bravo. The camps for days. Oh, I missed! I missed! I'm missing my shots! Oh no! Ah! Uh, and also, they increase the accuracy and clip size for this. Oh, is it also the fire rate? No, it's just the accuracy and clip size. Also, I forgot this is zone control. Here we go. Let's get that B flag. Let's go, team! Also, looks like we already have our next match good to go. So that means we will. Uh, that means we will be switching over to our tournament gameplay, guys. Keep in mind, tournament gameplay do, do take priority, especially because the finals. Also, I don't know how I didn't even hit any of those shots, but we will be switching back to the tournament right now. Currently, the score is one-one. Drive one. Matrix one. Who will be the winner? No clue just yet, but we will find out soon. Alrighty. Here we go. Construction team battle. Game number three for Drive versus Matrix. Keep in mind, guys, this is best out of five. So if we do see uh if we do see another team win two times, that will be it. But the question is, will they tie it up? Will it be a two-two kind of game? Will we actually go into a uh a two-on-two -two final? We have to use a rush as a game tiebreaker. Don't know just yet. Looks like we're good to go. Five players on drive, five players on matrix, and we are loading in right now. Let us begin. And here we go, we are in the match. Like I said, we do have Drive on the blue side. We do have Matrix on the red side. Let's see how both teams do this right here. E10, already in the back with the KOG. There is another player on the other back side. It looks like he got taken out pretty quickly by all the Matrix players who were there. Leo Chan picking up Devil. Devil not expecting someone to be right there as well. Lineage just staying on this back. We have a few of the drive players here as well. Devil picking up one on Yopi. And Air trying to free fire with the KOG, trying to get some kills. However, he is getting some pressure on him. These players are just staying behind these uh, pillars. They are keeping some cover right now. He needs to be careful about the push. And looks like he was taken out with the push. Yopi coming from behind, getting a kill right there. And it looks like the, the trade kills are real for this game. Both teams. So far, like as soon as they get a kill, they trade it off extremely quickly. Matrix finally getting some final, uh, some solid kills right there, and it doesn't seem like uh, Devil uh, Drive will be able to trade that back very quickly. EMP strike deployed, recon aircraft deployed, Drive Yopi picking up a kill, and Leo Champion picking up a kill with the KOG and the Mirager. Our free fire across the map right here, picking up a nice headshot on Ant. D10 picking up a, a grenade kill on Leo Chan. Haru going in for the kill. However, gets the assist as a teammate. D10 staying in the back. He needs to be careful. There are a lot of people uh, from Drive in this corner. He does need to be careful. He is able to pick up Leo Chan. Leo Chan does go down, especially even with the uh, the werewolf armor. Probably because D10 had a bit more time to pre-fire. Looks like he's going to be backing up from that location. Haru is going to be pushing in, however. Did not work out as well as he probably thought. And he does get taken out. Drive Ant. Pushing in right here, trying to go from the side and help his teammates out. There is one uh, player right there behind the uh, excavator, and it looks like he was taken out. Ant going in for the kills. Spotting one, 
You know there's a player in that one location. If he had a grenade, he could easily pin them down in that spot. Looks like he was able to get the kill. But in return, he gets killed by Devil's Concussion Grenade. Devil just trying to control this, uh, this small little building right here. Make sure that no one's really pushing in. He does see a few people, especially with the player that just shot at him right there. And he is able to pick up the kill on now. And looking for some kills. E10 looking for some kills as well, but right now both teams are playing somewhat low. They're not pushing in as much as uh, they were previously or in some other games. They know both teams are good teams. They both know they have a chance of losing uh, depending on how uh, reckless they play. But they do need to be careful about how they uh, make their decisions, how they decide to move their teams, all those kind of things. Yopi picking up a kill on D10 as D10 stays out in the open. Devil being smart, just staying behind cover, throwing some grenades over the cover, trying to get some kills that way. However, not able to pick anyone up. He is able to pre-fire, do some damage, and he is able to pick up one as Leo Chan does overextend a bit too much. Devil aims up in the sky, picks up the recon as well. That stops the recon from uh from stops giving their away their positions. Lynch rushing around with the pistol, going all the way to the back. However, the only person that's really uh, the close to there would be the person back here. And I don't think he's even going for a kill. Looks like he just got taken out there as well. Right now we have most of the uh, we have most of the drive members on the opposite side of the map. Devil. Very, very low HP. Survived the grenade. He's going to be pushing up. He can actually be playing a bit more aggressive. He does spot Leo Chan. Leo Chan does fall. He knows there's another player on that platform over there, but there's a player to his right. Doesn't expect it in time. Gets taken out. Air just aiming there, trying to find the kill. No one's really going to be picking out just yet. Leo's actually using a PR-39. However, there's a visual glitch that happens every once in a while. It makes it look like a pistol for some reason. He can getting the kill with on air. Air not expecting it. Right now, I think what's really giving up the most kills is just him staying a bit too far out in the open. Uh, just when they stay a bit too far on the open, it makes it extremely difficult uh, for them to do much at all. It's like giving them the other team free kills. It's like, hey, look, I'm right here. Just kill me. Devil throwing some cash grenades towards the catwalk. He knows there's some players up here. He's going to be aiming down sight. He's hoping to get that extra damage down. And he is going to be hitting some shots off. Look at that. Now just standing still. He did try to shoot at uh, Devil. However, it didn't work out successfully. Successfully, Leo Chan trying to push up. Devil makes him go down as well. A few more players around this corner. No one's there just yet. There was a player on the bottom of the catwalk, however. Devil rushing around. This is might be where he gets taken out. This is what I was talking about. If he just stays in the open, I uh, it's probably just gonna be giving the enemy team just kills. However, if he is able to keep in cover, if he is able to stay safe, uh, it does give him the advantage. Right now, we have Matrix in position to win this, only needing two more kills to secure the 2-1. to one. It looks like that will be it, a 2-1 to one game, or 2-1 to one already for Matrix. Drive, almost winning that game. Another close game, 45-250. Good game to both teams, good game to Drive, good game to Matrix. All right, guys, keep in mind, this is best out of five. So we will have to have one more Matrix win for that to be a definitive win. Also, guys, people on YouTube, we are still doing the YouTube giveaway right now. It's hashtag finals on our YouTube page. All you need to do is type in hashtag finals. We will spectate one more game, what might possibly be the final game. If you guys have any questions, concerns, 
feel free to ask them right now. I'll try my best to respond to as many people as possible. You got a lot of people typing hashtag finals. Keep in mind, you only need to type it in once. You only need to type it in once for a chance to win. You don't have to type it in multiple times. You don't have to be the, the people that are spamming like 70 times. When will you reveal the winner? After the next game is over. Haxer, how to get the Invictus camo? You only get that from the monthly finals, to be honest. You only get it for the monthly finals. So you don't get it from the weekly cups like this. You get it from the monthly ones. All right, it looks like we got the next match. We're going to be getting into that very, very shortly. And here we go. Both teams are joining up right now. Ooh, my computer's getting kind of toasty right now because it's streaming, and I also have games running in the background. Here we go, here we go. Yeah, my, my, my computer's super toasty right now. Oh, this is kind of nice. It's kind of cold in my house. Like, it's, it's like a rainy day outside today. Alrighty, we are waiting on one more player before we begin the what might possibly be the final game. Also, it will be the final game we will see before the YouTube giveaway. If you haven't already, head over to our YouTube page for a chance to win 500 credits. YouTube.com. And just to find out, search up Modern Combat, you'll find our channel. I, the thing is, like, it's not slash Modern Combat. I really wish it had a special link, but uh, it doesn't. I'll post the link on our Twitch, and I'll post the link on our... Uh, on our mob crush for all those people there. Uh, how do the credits work? Do I receive them after the stream? Sorry, this is your first giveaway. You should receive them at least a week, or hopefully if the community manager actually uh, gets his game on and, you know, uh, actually responds to everyone or responds to me and all that kind of stuff. Uh, hopefully, you might, you might actually get them in like three days. Uh, it, it depends. He should get everything uh, sorted out before the, the monthly finals. Monthly finals is the end of the week. Yeah, I know. Keep, they keep on spamming. We are waiting on two more players to join.
One more player. One more player we could begin. Where is this one player? Matrix, please. It will be Matrix on blue. It will be Drive on red, but we're just waiting on one Matrix player. I don't know where this one Matrix player is right now. Uh, Haxer, they nerfed the red 34 in 2k15. It was OP now, but now the pirate sucks and it's weak. Uh, it's called they added armor. And armor made all the guns weak, except for the guns that could destroy armor, like the PR39 and the KOG. And guns with very high armor penetration. The red is still okay, it's still 3 shot kill. However, it's not as good as the KOG, it's not as good as the PR39. I guess you'll have a new favorite soon. We'll have to see. We'll have to see what the next game is like. Once we actually get into the next game, we are just waiting on the, the player to join. Let's let's quickly switch over to here. Hey, you see what I mean? Look at that. We got a 4v5. We need one more. Matrix. Matrix is missing a player. Matrix, where's your player at? Don't know. Hopefully get them soon, though. I would like to begin. Guys, keep in mind, I am reading these chats as well. You don't need to type in finals multiple times, guys. You only need to type in hashtag finals once. And if you type it more than seven times in the span of 30 seconds, I will omit your entry. Axer, how do you enter everyone's name in the giveaway thing? Do you use a program or do you do it manually? It's a program. At least for this, it's a, it's for for YouTube. It's a website, pretty much. And it looks like we are good to go. So let's quickly w w see what happens here. Team battle rooftops. What possibly might be the final game. If we see Matrix taking another victory right here. If Drive wins one more. We will be moving on to a sudden death tiebreaker kind of rush game mode. And we're going to have to see how that works out. Anyways, let us quickly go into the game and see how this turns out. Matrix versus Drive on rooftops. Let us begin. Right away, Matrix starting off with a kill and just trying to watch the top, seeing if anyone has pop, fallen down. No one really did that just yet. We have Air getting a nice knife kill, but he does get taken out and picking up D10. Backs up because he did take a, a bit of damage right there. He needs to be careful. There's a lot of players at the end of the hallway, and I believe he might have just saw them right now. Oh, there he goes. He sees all these players right here. Will he use his Berserk? He has to reload. Be careful, Ant. Ant just staying right here, spotting all these players. But he does get taken out by Devil. He does do a significant amount of damage to Devil and Lineage. We have Lineage getting a nice kill on now. I don't know. There are there's just one player on a, on Drive's team. We've been rushing around trying to get this knife kill. I don't know why he's trying to do it. Like it'd be personally better if like he's just using like an assault rifle or something. But trying to knife a tournament match is kind of weird. Kind of weird to see. And if you do see Drive right now. 11 to 12, very very close game. Both teams have uh, have just been trading kills left and right. Drive just continuously pushing in, and it's just pushing in as well. Going in for the kill right here. I don't think he might be able to get this kill. Once he gets a knife, he gets a knife kill, and it looks like he gets traded in return. Ant surviving with very low HP. D10 picking up the kill on Ant, and D10 will be continuously pushing in until he gets taken out by Leo Chan's concussion grenade that was blocking his way. Ant. Taking a different path down. Spots one. Nope, doesn't spot one through the smoke that was on his screen. 
There is a player down here. He's going to jump and rush in with his teammates. He knows there's a few people there. He needs to be careful that he's not standing out in the open. And Ant is able to pick up the kill on Haru. And that does put Drive in the lead. Another person right there. Lion is rushing in, getting a knife kill on Ant. Why is the Lion is just trying to get knife kills? If he wasn't just using the Bounty Hunter, he could be getting a lot more uh, kills with the uh, with other weapons. After just deciding to knife, is kind of strange to see. Let's see if he goes for another one as well. Lion is going in for the knife kill. Getting another knife kill on Yopi. And he's able to live to tell the tale. Another one. Is he able to do it? There's a player behind him. Is he going to get turned on? What is going to happen? Lineage is just getting kill streaks for days just with knifing. He also has enough diamond dust to actually get an EMP strike. Air getting a revenge knife kill on him. Devil trying to push up right here, but he does have to reload the PR39. And looks like he might get knifed. No! Now gets taken out by the PR39. And Devil is able to protect his teammate. Free fire with the PR39. He is able to get all his kill streaks. He does have a recon. He does have a turret. He does also have an EMP strike ready to go. But it looks like the enemy team was able to deploy an EMP strike before he could do it. So right now he is EMP. He can't deploy any of his kill streaks. That does put him at a, in a somewhat situation. However, as soon as this EMP strike goes away for drive, it's going to be very, very difficult for drive uh, to keep on getting killed, especially after uh, Matrix uses their own EMP. Rina pushing around. Trying to make sure there's no one in these hallways. Checking the backs. Ant pushing up, trying to get some kills. Not finding anyone just yet. Very, very close score. 40 to 40. Ant pre-firing and Yopi getting the kill on Haru. Yopi just continuously pushing in. Going in for the kills. Boss one player right here. Goes in for the headshot. Gets the headshot on D10. Drive keeps the lead at the moment. 43 to 41. If Drive is able to get 7 more kills, they will be moving on to the tiebreaker. The rush final. And at the moment, it is positioned for Drive to win this. However, that might change very rapidly. Depends on what happens in a few short seconds. We're not using Berserk, getting the extra damage, pre firing around the corner, picking up the kill on Leo Chan. Ant pushing up here as well. Spotting one player right there. Needs to be careful about peeking out. The score is very, very close. It's 47 47. Falls on the concussion grenade. Air is getting able to get the knife. But it looks like the game will be going to Matrix. Very, very close game at the end. If Drive didn't get the knife kill at the end, if they just got a gun kill and they were able to recover and get another kill, they had a chance of actually um, winning that set, that final match. They had a chance of actually coming back and going to the tiebreaker on Rush. However, that won't be the case. We do see Matrix securing three victories, and that will be it for today's cup. We will see Matrix securing their victory, securing first place. 3-1 to one against Drive. Good games by both teams. Very, very close matches by both teams. Congratulations to Matrix for first place. Congrats on them for winning the uh, 100 euro prize. And congrats on Drive for getting second and winning the 50 euro prize. Let's go take a look at the brackets. See if we do have any third place uh, matchup already decided. If so, we can declare the winner for that. And it looks like we also have the winner declared for our third place matchup. First action taking first place. Oh, or unless it's a glitch. Or maybe they won by default. But at the moment, it says first action wins for the third, uh, for the first, or for, the, for third place. So first place is Matrix. Second place is Drive. Third place is first action at the moment. Congrats on all the teams that did play today. Good games as well. Good games to Matrix and Drive. That was very, very close near the end as well. Now, since we are done with this, since we are done finally, we can do our YouTube giveaway drawing, guys. Our YouTube giveaway drawing will be done in a few short seconds. So if you haven't already, head over to our YouTube channel. Type in hashtag finals for a chance to win. And don't type it in multiple times, just type it in once, please. All 
all these Japanese squads. Yeah, true. Look at this. Look, look at the finals and the semifinals. Like, jeez. A lot of a lot of Japanese teams playing, and they did extremely good. But we do now uh, have the winner. Alrighty, we will be drawing the winner for the YouTube giveaway in a few short seconds. If you haven't already, do the final hashtags, final hashtag finals in the chat. You guys have any uh, finishing up questions before we finish up today uh, the final giveaway and finish up today's broadcast feel free to ask them right now I'll try my best to respond to as many as possible psych Milio saying he'd won before if he had no lag also this one wasn't for the uh, this one wasn't for the three thousand dollars the one for the three thousand five dollars was the monthly final so if I take a look at this right here, as you see, monthly final prize pool increased. Monthly final, not the weekly final. If it was the weekly final, like, geez, that would be OP. But first place, 1,500 euros. Second place, 1,000 euros. And third place, 500 euros, which is a pretty hefty amount of money. Alrighty, guys, we are going to be doing our face, our YouTube get not in Facebook, our YouTube giveaway drawing right now, and the winner for the final 500 credits for the Red Cup today is going to be La Casa Gaming, or Cosa Gaming. Congrats. Please post your dog tag and platform. La Casa Gaming, congrats on winning the final giveaway for today on YouTube. If you are still here, just let me know. He say hashtag finals 10 hours ago, but I still don't get the winner. He left the chat. Did he leave the chat? He was just here. I saw his name before. Oh my gosh. If he left the chat, I'm going to get salty. Not really. Haxer, is it harder to get the judgment? You mean the pistol? The judgment pistol? I don't know. Uh, Like right now... Oh, thank you. There we go. He is here. Congratulations on claiming those credits. Alrighty. Congrats on claiming those credits once again. Thank you, everyone, who stopped by for today's stream. I hope you guys enjoyed today's broadcast. I'm actually going to be trying to broadcast the monthly final this month. Um, at least for maybe just for Android. But I know the monthly finals is going to be intense as heck, especially with teams and huge amounts of money is on the line. It's going to be uh, it's going to be pretty interesting to watch. Uh, I'll probably be in those streams as well. I'll try to if I'm not if I'm not broadcasting it myself. If it's Momo and G Runner, I'll probably be in the chats and going around places. But anyways, thank you guys so much for stopping by today's stream. I hope you guys did enjoy the broadcast. If this is the first time we're actually watching a Go For Modern Combat Five Cup. Uh, then, wow, you, you came kind of late. We've done 20 of these. That's a lot. But uh, no worries, no worries. Uh, we usually do host these on a the weekly basis. I believe uh, I believe December is going to be... Uh, I don't know if December is going to have them. 
I think it's up to 20, and then there's a monthly final. I, I, that's what I think it is. But for, for right now, uh, I'll just say it's weekly. We host these weekly. Uh, you could sign up. We have one on Android. We have one on iOS. This is currently the iOS one. The Go For Modern Combat 5 one is on iOS. And anyone can technically sign up as long as you pretty much have an ESL account and you sign up for the uh, the page or sign up for the tournament. That is it. You just find the Modern Combat ESL page. You click on the cup you would want to sign up for. For example, the blue cup. You make sure you have a team. You make sure you have your team checked up and everything good to go. And that's all you would need to do to actually sign in and participate in one of these uh, tournaments. The, the page for this is play.eslgaming.com slash modern combat. Or you can just find out ESL play. Can I just find ESL play? ESL play. You can Google ESL play. Just ESL and then play. And you can just find modern combat. You just click on modern combat. You don't have to click on the, the monthly finals. What you just then click on the name Modern Combat, and you can see upcoming cups. You see right here. So we do have one in December. We have the Android one in December, the Mob Crush Cup. So those are going to continue on. There's also a, a a PC one coming up, Five on Five Community PC Cup. So there's a lot of stuff going on for a lot of different platforms. So everyone does have a chance to sign up for this as well. Anyways, guys, if you have any final questions before we finish up the broadcast today, please do ask them now. I'll be in the chat for a while. But anyways, guys, this is Hacks, and hopefully you enjoyed the broadcast. I will see you next time. Peace.